Uh, these are your birthing years. <laughs> Why are you playing Animal Crossing? <laughs> I only shower every two to three weeks, and I'm sick of being picked on for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, great title. I only shower twice a month, whether I need it or not. <laughs> uh, maybe you should be picked on. Maybe this is how we uh, get society members back in line, right? If not showering brings you joy, normally I'd say that's great, but it's obvious you're affecting other people with your decision, so, um, do better. Change it up. <laughs> and for context, I'm a 22-year-old male. I live alone and work as a cashier in Target. Oh, great. <laughs> He's interacting with the public. <laughs> Uh, I haven't bathed for the better part of a month. Uh, that'll be $20. <laughs> Ugh, nasty. Can't even concentrate enough to count. My nose and my eyes are burning. <laughs> uh, uh, I feel like I don't need to shower often. <laughs> I don't see the need for it. And it's a huge waste of water. Oh, yeah. Think of the water, for sure. <laughs> there he is! There's a guy that doesn't open up his ass cheeks in the shower to let the water in! Uh, any excuse, let me ask you this. Do you flush the toilet every time you go to the bathroom? I bet he's a sink pisser, isn't he? <laughs> he pees in the sink and just quotes it as like, Yeah, I'm saving water! <laughs> uh, good God! I've been told a few times that I smell bad. <laughs> but each time I smell myself, I don't get any unpleasant scent. <laughs> I think you've grown used to your own scent. You've gone nose blind. <laughs> uh, I, I, it's a hard conversation for other people to have. So when they tell you something like that, uh, probably believe them. I've never seen anybody lie about this. <laughs> uh, uh, I feel like my family especially pressure me to change, but I honestly feel scrutinized and kind of bullied. <laughs> uh, even my coworkers. I even got a phone call from my manager kindly telling me that I need to keep my hygiene up. Uh, but I do! <laughs> uh, oh, so the family is pressuring you. Do you think he actually lives alone? Or does he live with his parents and doesn't want to bring that up? He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a functioning member of society. I just choose not to shower. Yeah! <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, really. There's some sort of mental disconnect going on here, like... You just deny the fact that you're dirty? Like, rub your forearms, bro, and, and collect some of that dead skin that I'm sure is gathering because you haven't scrubbed it in a while, you know? <laughs> He'll be like, oh no, that's just dust. <laughs> yeah, it's dust from your skin. I don't know, dude. It sounds to me like bro needs to talk to a therapist or something like that. Bullying him, obviously, is not the way to do it. But he definitely needs help in some way, or shape, or form. Uh, showering isn't the only way to be hygienic. <laughs> I shave, and I brush my teeth every day, and obviously I wash my hands when I need to. <laughs> uh, just uh, wash your hands even when you don't need to, okay? He's like, oh, I'm about to make a sandwich, but my hands don't look dirty. I guess it's fine. Bro, just for yourself, for everybody around you. <laughs> Wash your freaking nasty mitts. Ugh. I just feel like they're nitpicking. Any advice on how to deal with this? And honestly, am I being unreasonable? Absolutely. This is, <laughs> this is so not okay. And I want to sit you down and, and kind of teach you, hey, son, you really do need to take a shower. Maybe not every day, but every two, three, maybe even four days, you could probably push it, depending on 
your glands and such, but you want to get in the shower, man. Doesn't it feel good? Don't you like to get out of the shower and be like, oh my god, I'm so fresh and clean and I smell nice. Is there some sort of trauma in this guy's past that makes him like afraid to get in the shower? Or is he just being stubborn at this point? And he's like, people tell me to shower, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> uh, seems like a really weird hill to die on, my dude. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if bullying him is the way to get through to him, but it doesn't really sound like people are bullying him. Uh, his manager told him kindly. It's all about how he feels. He feels scrutinized. And it's within your power to change that. So why have you not changed that, right? <laughs> There's something really weird going on here. I can't put my finger on it. I'm not a professional. But if OP ever sees this, I hope that he will take a good look inside himself and at least try and figure out why that is. Just stop being disgusting. I believe in you. All right. <laughs> Ask regarding elf growth. <laughs> uh, yeah, boy, let's talk about elves. <laughs> Hi, I'm creating lore for my fantasy story. Well, some part is for erotica, but I need a biological lore. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, just some of it. It's not what the story's all about. Please help me out. I promise I'm not a weirdo. Uh, I see right through you, dude. <laughs> Can I ask some opinion? So, for the elf growth, for mental growth, I'm making their growth similar to human. But for the body growth, I'm thinking of slower growth. Oh my god. I know exactly where this is going, and I hate it already. Stop! Stop! It's an adult mind in a child's body, so it's fine. Burn him. Burn him at the stake. I'm less than 10 sentences in, and I am ready to go to war to get rid of this dude. Oh. First, in my story, I was thinking to make the elves average age about 300 years, or like three times human. For the toddler phase, five years of human age for elf, I think it'd be better to make them similar like human instead of making them babies for 15 years. <laughs> so really this dude is trying to just maximize the <laughs> the window of childhood. Oh, God, I hate it. For prepubescent, uh, 13 years or lower for human or lolly phase. Oh God, God, somebody shoot him now. Just, just end him. Nothing good is going to come from the further existence of this human being. It's really hard for me to call him a human being. <laughs> I was thinking to make them differ from human at this phase. At first, I was thinking to make this longer. Perhaps, like, to 50 years. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> uh, just stretch that lolly window as long as possible. God damn it, dude. Every time I, I find a, a nugget of hope for humanity, I come across something like this. Uh, but then I'm thinking to make them grow slowly, uh, from age 6 to 24. For adolescent, perhaps if we use the first, it'd be about age 25 to 50s, early adulthood, age 50 to 90, middle adulthood, 90 to 180, and finally late adulthood from 180 to 300, or less. Jesus Christ, shut the fuck up. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. I don't want to hear anymore. I don't care. I know what this is all about. He's going to be like, oh, well, I'm 30 years old, so I obviously have to date this... This elf child with the mind of a 30-year-old and the body of a freaking child. Ugh. I probably shouldn't have put this so early in the video. This is just rage bait. <laughs> heavy, heavy rage bait. It's working. In the lore, I make the female to be the more prominent gender in terms of leadership. Oh, so he also loves a, a matriarchy. He's looking for those mama dom children which <laughs> seems like an oxymoron, but okay. Go off, I guess. As female elves have better magical capabilities. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, touch grass, please. <laughs>
<laughs> this is... I don't know, man. I love fantasy as much as the next person, but this is not something that I could ever get into. So, instead of a king, they were led by a queen. And for descendants, they use matrilineal. I make the male to be beautiful and more of like a femboy or trap for the lore. Yeah, for the lore. <laughs> uh, it's so obvious exactly what you're doing, dude. But you keep insisting it's for the lore. Please help me write this, you guys. It's for the lore. No, bro. <laughs> Uh, take your terrible fetishes out of here. Go bury them somewhere where they can never be found again. You're more than welcome to have them, but don't drag them into r slash biology, which... <laughs> He's asking elf questions in r slash biology. <laughs> Not a subreddit I visited, but... I don't think that they're interested in elves, much less child elves or, or femboy elves. <laughs> uh, but remember, guys, it's all just for the lore. <laughs> God. Uh, this is so hateable. Really weird, really cringe, uh, but I think hateable above all else. Uh, I use the no beard lore for the male elf. <laughs> yeah. OP's providing all the beard that we need. <laughs> so I think making them beautiful at an early age or early adulthood would be a better choice. And perhaps beautiful male when they're older, but heh, that's just another matter. Oh god, dude. <laughs> Please make it stop. With the long teen and prepubescent age, about 25 years for teenage age, and 18 years for prepubescent, I think this could explain for the lore of Lolly Elf in Elf Art Illustration. 18 years for prepubescent. So you can, you can be like, she's 18 years old, technically. Yeah, but she looks like a toddler, bro. I swear to God, man, the day I invent, like, a knife that can shoot through the internet and stab people in the face, I'm gonna be very rich. <laughs> and this guy is the one that's going first. 100% no doubt about it. I'm gonna see this post in my nightmares, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> but to be honest, do you think we should make the age range different? Like making prepubescent age shorter? I don't care. I don't care about your weird fucking fetish! <laughs> <laughs> oh, also for ovulation for the female elf, what do you think is the best idea? Should we make them ovulate at the same rate as humans, or make it longer, like, like three per month? Three per month. <laughs> I mean, elves have a longer lifespan, so shouldn't they ovulate less? No! No, 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 I'm not letting you suck me into your, your delusion. <laughs> your horrible lore. I say again, I do not care about any of this. Please stop. Give me your opinion or ideas regarding these. <laughs> Thank you. Note that I do not support child prawns or something like that. This is just a question for the lore creation in my story. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, whatever you gotta tell yourself, I guess. <laughs> I don't think anybody's buying that shit. Uh, and protagonist and side characters are all in adulthood or teenage age for elves. <laughs> God, how can I demonstrate to you how little I care about any of this? The underlying theme Enrages me. Very concerning. The blanket that you've draped over to try and cover it. The most boring thing in the world. Weird, uninteresting. Nobody cares about your f weird friggin' story, all right? <sighs> Regarding Lolly Body. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop. Stop now. It's just that some artists draw short stature elf with small breast. <laughs> That's what I meant by lolly, not the elementary school child. God damn it, dude. God damn it. 
Why did you blank out the name? I want to go dig through the profile and get even angrier. Fuel my vitriol! You think anybody was fooled by this post? I'd like to see the comments on this post, honestly. Everybody in there calling him a pervert and he adds an edit like, No, no, let me, let me correct you on what I actually meant. The way you wrote it is how you actually meant it. And everybody can see what you meant because we're not all idiots like you. That's the thing about trying to deceive other people. You actually have to be smarter than them. And this monster, this predator, he absolutely is not. I hope all the worst things in the world for you, OP. Nobody else but you. I hope he got banned or something. This is, this is horrible. Put this guy on a freaking watch list, man. Ugh, I can't dwell on it any longer or, or I'm gonna just end the video here. <laughs> <laughs> this was heavy, to say the least. How 90 Day Fiance star Stephanie Maddow ended up hospitalized after eating too many beans to sell her farts. <laughs> <laughs> they got that Leonardo DiCaprio pic where he's supposed to be sipping some wine, but it says a fart in a jar, and he's got a fedora on. <laughs> <laughs> Dudes must be down bad to have to buy farts in a jar or, or gamer girl bathwater. Fellas, stop it. <laughs> we can't encourage stuff like this. Even if it's, if it's for the meme or, or for the lulls, stop it. Because the truth is, women, they're out there hurting themselves to give you what you so desperately desire. Look at poor Stephanie Maddow. Got a colon full of beans. <laughs> <laughs> she can't stop pooping. She had to go to the hospital. <laughs> she kept spray painting the inside of the jars. <laughs> uh, this is supposed to be gas only. This isn't what I paid for. Poop. <laughs> and how about old Belle Delphine? You know, she took so many baths that she dissolved. And <laughs> we never saw her again. <laughs> <laughs> She's off the internet completely because she got washed down the drain. Think about the effects that your consumption might have on other people, alright? That's your PSA for the day. <laughs> uh, uh, this is just some next level ridiculousness going on. Uh, like a decade or two ago, you think any of this would have happened? No, <laughs> definitely not. And it's horrifying to think about. We as humans, yes, we won the evolutionary arms race, but then at the end, we lost it. <laughs> Just so completely. I don't know, man. I guess good for her and, and her hustle, you know, but fellas, what the hell? <laughs> One day I'll reach the point where I can sell my bodily fluids and I won't do it. Unless I need to, to get that new Lamborghini. <laughs> I, I kind of do, you know, understand where she's coming from. I don't understand where these dudes is coming from, but it takes all type to move the world, I guess. <laughs> Either nobody's really wrong here, or, or everybody's really wrong here, and I can't decide which is which. <laughs> so we're just gonna move on. Are men okay? Bruh, we haven't been okay for a long time. <laughs> but what are you talking about specifically? Uh, these are your birthing years. <laughs> Why are you playing Animal Crossing? <laughs> Yeah, you're not allowed to do anything. While you're pregnant, you lay in the bed and stare at the wall. Don't you dare play a video game! <laughs> uh, holy shit, man. YouTube comments out here feeling entitled to other people's uteruses. <laughs> Why is your uterus not full? How could this happen? <laughs> Let me ask you this, anonymous YouTube commenter. How many kids do you have? None. <laughs> I'll put money on none. Because the second you come out with a line like that... 
<laughs> Everybody is running far away from you. Women and men included. <laughs> I cannot be associated with a take like this. Take that ring out of your nose and find yourself a man to explode inside you. Deep. Oh. Oh. My skin. <laughs> It's like my skin is crawling off of my body. Why would you write that? Why would you make me read that? <laughs> uh, I apologize on behalf of my gender, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and have IRL baby crossing. <laughs> Hope this helped. It did not help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it made her uterus shrivel up. My balls just became completely inert. This comment has the power of sterilizing people. Instead of having uh, your partner go in and get their tubes tied or whatever, just show them this comment. <laughs> Easy fix. <laughs> <laughs> your body will reject it so hard. IRL baby crossing, bro. It's a horrible pun. <laughs> It's like your best attempt to be clever, and it's horrible. <laughs> Baby crossing is not a good time. You can't just walk away from it anytime you want. I know you probably don't know a goddamn thing about that. Probably never will. Because <laughs> like I said, the mere presence of this man makes people infertile. <laughs> <laughs> but you can take it from me that um, baby crossing is the ride that never ends and you probably shouldn't take that ride unless you know that you're ready. And on top of that, even if you think you're ready, you're not actually ready. <laughs> <laughs> it is the most difficult thing in the world, bar none. How can you compare it to one of the most casual Nintendo games out there? <laughs> <laughs> Having a baby is doom and gloom edge max death grind. <laughs> uh, yeah, but like I said, this guy, he never gonna have to worry about that. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, this was uh, cross posted from Cringetopia. Dude opening up his little apartment and stuff. And he's like, oh, I'm home, waifus. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say Uncanny Valley? <laughs> he, she grabs the hand and like drags him across the room. I hate it when my toddler does that, okay? How's I gonna feel if a robot does it? Here's the menu. What would you like us to cook with our robot hands? They accidentally like cut off their fingers and put it into the stew. <laughs> they can't even feel it. He rings his little bell, robot wife, who's like, What do you need, uh, Master Coon Senpai? <laughs> yeah, you want to have power over something? Get a dog, all right? <laughs> oh, it's like a restaurant, I guess. It's not his apartment. Or is he, like, showing her the coffee that she should make? <laughs> She's going to bring him a cold beardy. That's really all she can do. You think this thing actually has the dexterity to cook? She can't even hold a beer with one hand. <laughs> Here you are. Oh, thanks so much. Please leave me alone. Go stand in the corner and never look at me again. I know some people might be like, oh, it's kind of cute, Red X. No, it's really not. <laughs> it's uncomfortable, to say the least. I don't even like this thing ironically, if I'm quite honest. I kicked this bitch down the stairs. <laughs> I hate humanoid robots. Come at me, Skynet. <laughs> These things do nothing but creep me out. And on top of that, they're, they're totally useless. She can barely deliver a can. <laughs> I'm supposed to be impressed that you handed me a menu. <laughs> on top of that these things they probably stink of coom let's be honest about that <laughs> they don't even know how to change their own clothes do you gotta charge them how does this work 
No, actually, don't tell me because I, I hate it and I would never buy one. Like one of those real dolls? Okay, maybe I get it, kind of, but this thing's just gonna piss me off. It's gonna get in my way all the time. Oh, I'm standing right here in the doorway. I'm like, great, move. <laughs> I'd like to walk through my house unimpeded without what is essentially a, a moving piece of fucking furniture following me around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good on all of this. Is this why Japan's birth rates are so low? <laughs> it has to be, right? <laughs> God damn it, dude. We are all doomed. Like I said, we won the evolutionary arms race, but in the end, we couldn't defeat ourselves. Or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all over but the crying now, I guess. So buy a robot anime girl. If you want, I can't tell you how to live. I just know that this, this is not for me. <laughs> On top of being creepy, it would just piss me off. <laughs> uh, uh oh, weirdo hopping in the Reddit DMs. Here we go. This weirdo is active in r slash stop drinking, r slash interesting as F, and r slash politics. Wow, what a classy gentleman who is also an alcoholic. <laughs> Uh, are you just upset that a man understands the female reductive system? <laughs> female reductive system. <laughs> That's what the neckbeard uses. Any way that they can reduce females <laughs> so they feel small enough to actually date said beard. That's it's kind of like the dentist system. <laughs> The female reproductive system better than you? <laughs> I say again, uh, how many kids you got, Doc? <laughs> because I can tell you, in the time you're watching reality TV and reading shallow magazines, I'm reading about topics that interest me. While you studied reality TV, I studied the fallopian tube. <laughs> Are you for real right now? <laughs> oh my god. It, it is real. I mean, dude only has 68 karma, but that's probably for a good reason. <laughs> he has his head so far up his own ass. I'm fascinated. At the end of the day, to anyone that reads our exchange, it becomes clear who is educated and who isn't. Yeah, I'm sure it does. <laughs> so enjoy your continued existence in your lower class bubble. Yeah, this guy knows all about class. I feel like I won that argument. That's why I hopped into the Reddit DMs. <laughs> Uh, get a hobby, aside from drinking, because apparently you are trying to stop drinking. He really thinks, like, r slash interesting as fuck and, and politics <laughs> count as reading about topics that interest him. <laughs> Reddit is a cesspool for the mind, okay? You don't go here to edify yourself. How about you go read some peer-reviewed papers? Because I'm sure if you felt more secure within yourself, then you wouldn't feel the need to hop into the DMs and insult the people that you argue with online, right? <laughs> if you were secure within yourself, you'd walk away and be like, heh, whatever. <laughs> Agree to disagree. But he seems just incapable of doing that. Are, are you drunk right now? Is that why you're doing this? <laughs> I don't mean to rip on uh, him for drinking or whatever. It's good that he's trying to stop drinking, honestly. But aside from his delusions of grandeur, it's all I have to go on. Why don't you upload a nice profile picture, son? <laughs> <laughs> then we can start the real burns. Eh, but I don't care enough to go and, and look up this dude. All I gotta say is, hey, try and do better, and I'll see you later. But probably not, though. <laughs> A man walking down the road, he sees two people kiss, and he's like, Hey, you listen up! 
And then he looks at his reflection in a pond and he's like, If someone else's happiness makes you unhappy, the problem is solely with you. God, that's a wholesome neck beard. <laughs> okay, you can be upset at the people kissing as long as you realize that that is your shortcoming, not theirs. I bet this guy's name is Roger Elliot. See, because he's the flip reverse of Elliot Roger. <laughs> oh, God. I do like the twist in this comic. I should probably do some, like, webcomic stuff. This is, like, a level of drawing that I could get with. Would you guys like to see a Red X webcomic? I'm pretty sure we could do that in our, in our spare time. It would probably be really weird and absurdist, but... Yeah, now I'm rolling the idea around. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Could be cool, but congratulations to you, uh, wholesome neckbeard, Roger Elliot, for, uh, <laughs> being able to have some quite literal self-reflection in this comic. Those two people on the bench get to keep kissing and enjoy themselves, and you get to look inside and, and try to figure out how to become a better person, how to not let that affect you on a personal level. It's really a beautiful thing. I like the twist. Shouts out to Chili K, or Killick, I guess. <laughs> C-H-I-L-I-K. Maybe I look up some more day comics after this. See how it goes. Get inspired. Steal some jokes. No, not that. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, four. Pick a few weird habits and repeat them constantly. The Joker has a lot of weird tics, like licking his lips constantly. When you're talking, emphasize certain things by pausing and licking your lips before finishing the sentence. You also could smile oddly at the wrong times. I like how I transform more into the Joker as the most went on. <laughs> he doesn't like that. Not. Uh, is this like how to pick up women as the Joker? Is this, like, a completely out of context? It doesn't really matter. WikiHow is, is not the place to go to learn how to function in relationships. We should probably dig into some of those articles because those are some trash fires. <laughs> why confine ourselves to just Reddit? You know what I'm saying? I don't understand why anybody would want a WikiHow article on, like, how to play as the Joker. Just watch the movie. <laughs> Emulate what you see. Monkey see, monkey do, right? But you know they're gonna go out there and just like try way too hard. It kind of the nature of the beast as far as uh, Deadpool fanboys, Joker fanboys, really a lot of Marvel stuff these days. <laughs> <laughs> and I know Joker's from DC, just... Uh, I'm not really in the comics. Not a comic guy, not an anime guy. <laughs> Tabletop and, and video games. That's what I do. And if you like the Joker, that's fine. Just don't be a tryhard about it. Don't walk around trying to emulate him in public. <laughs> For God's sake. Whoa. Awesome. Let's put a smile on that face. <laughs> that's probably the worst thing you could do. I don't think this is like a pickup article or anything. But it is weird. <laughs> it definitely gives a vibe that I don't like necessarily. But whatever, to each their own, I do suppose. Moving on. <laughs> do not watch this! Yeah, it looks super scary, bro. They got like a big red bear in that movie. Uh, Pixar movie turning red. Disgusting, creepy things revealed. Six minute video. Freaking 60,000 views. I know exactly what this guy's doing. And guess what? He did it again. <laughs> A Pixar movie turning red. Parents are angry. Film pushes horrible messages. Get woke, go broke. <laughs> Josiah rises. Oh, Josiah. Trying to make yourself feel like a real man with your big old beard when really you're just a fat YouTube guy. Embrace who you are. <laughs> Remember, Simba, <laughs> who you are. I think that this dude is just trying to get the rage clicks, you know what I'm saying? It's like that one game designer, I think he designed like Gears of War or, or some other game that leads you around by the dick basically. And he's playing Metroid Dread, he's like, I can't figure this game out. <laughs> huh. 
It's like, yeah, there's hidden passages. You have to shoot things. And he's like, oh, well, who could ever figure that out? Apparently everybody but you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and the weirdest part is, I guess not really weird, he did stick to his guns because it was bringing in unprecedented amount of traffic to his channel. And that is exactly what Josiah is doing as well. He couldn't even stretch these things out to eight minutes to hit the, the mid-roll ad section. I wonder how many things he actually says in the video. I'm not gonna go over there and, and give him a click because I don't want to be part of the problem. I don't want to encourage this behavior. <laughs> but it, it's just ridiculous. We've totally pirated it. I mean, watch this movie, and uh, <laughs> my daughter enjoys it. She is able to identify it with the, the main character who's a young Asian girl because she herself is a young, like, prepubescent Asian girl. It talks about some things that are hard to discuss. Like, you know, having PMS, which is something that I don't understand at all. It offers me a new perspective. Apparently, the only thing that it offered to Josiah was disgusting and creepy. <laughs> uh, yeah, does does the human experience of 50% of the population on Earth, <laughs> that's disgusting and creepy to you? You're just never going to get it. Look at this dude's face. Tries so hard to be a lumberjack. He's trying as hard as he can not to embrace the female experience in any kind of way because deep down he knows that he's like almost like a pseudo man, right? A soft YouTube boy that makes YouTube videos <laughs> in order to put food on the table. And you want me to be real? I get it. <laughs> but the sooner you just kind of embrace it, come to terms with it, be like, yeah, so what? This is who I am and I don't really care the sooner you have to stop trying so hard to be like, oh, look at this. It talks about vaginas. <laughs> Isn't that gross? No, dude. <laughs> it's really not. It's a conversation that adults can have and that children really need to have. It's not a great movie or anything like that. <laughs> I didn't go, wow, I'm going to rewatch this one. But it was okay. It, it Obviously, my daughter enjoyed it, and I am glad that we sat down to watch it. We all know Josiah doesn't have kids. He just watches children's movies for YouTube. <laughs> to, to complain about them on YouTube. <laughs> and Josiah never will have kids because he's scared that if he gets close to a vagina, he will literally turn into one. <laughs> Uh, I do get the rage bait thing, but I don't know. If some heat comes back on you, you can't really be surprised by that. Honestly, I hope I make Josiah mad enough to do a video on Red X. And he'll be like, look at this guy. He laughs too much. He's not even that funny. <laughs> and that's the whole video. That's all the points he made. Couldn't even get it to 10 minutes. <laughs> Sad, bro. <laughs> all right, but good luck out there. I'll see you in the funny paper, stupid. <laughs> Dear society, you made it clear that you don't care about men, so I'm gonna stop caring about you. And then society was like, oh no, what are we gonna do now? <laughs> uh, I don't think society gives a shit what you think. <laughs> Every relationship goes both ways. You made it clear that men are only entitled to the bare minimum under the law. <laughs> well, that's totally fine. I'm only going to do as much for society as I need to to stay out of prison. You think society's reading this? <laughs> Why are you writing it this way? Just to get it off your chest? If you had something uh, sentient that could actually respond to you, or could even just be observed on a smaller scale than just saying, I don't know, society. <laughs> it might make what you're saying a little bit more poignant, you know? <laughs> Volunteering? <laughs> Are you joking? Would I be arrested if I don't volunteer? Then no. Contributing to community? Would I be arrested? Then no. Helping out strangers on the road? Wait, 
I seem to remember reading men getting arrested after helping, so <laughs> doubly no. <laughs> Any kind of generosity. Would I be arrested if I'm not generous? Then no. That's it. You're not wrong. I'm not mad. It's simply a two-way relationship. I will do the bare minimum, but not one bit more. A thousand upvotes, dude. Three silver awards, one gold award. I think the last one is a wholesome award or something like that. So there are days that I definitely agree with this sentiment as well, unfortunately. But the truth is that this is not the answer. To just lay down and die and be like, well, society doesn't care, so I don't care. Well, how about you you double your efforts, you know? Start caring and try and improve society in any way you can. Because it's the type of people that lay down, refuse to help if, if anything is not offered to them in exchange for doing so, that are sort of the reason that society has failed as it has in the first place. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard to even address the argument that he's making here because he doesn't point out any of the things that uh, society does that prove that they don't care about men or whatever. He's just saying what he won't do. <laughs> Which doesn't even form a full argument. Why do you feel entitled to people uh, caring about you? Just on the basis of your gender? Why not go out, do some things in the community, and... I guarantee at that point people would start to care about you. They'd be like, hey, that's the guy that runs the community garden. We got three tomatoes out of there. <laughs> Had to split it between 60 people, but that one little nibble was real good. <laughs> this is the type of guy that doesn't put his shopping cart away. He just leaves it in the parking lot. AKA the lowest form of humanity. You're participating in society, whether you like it or not. If this is somehow your excuse to do the bare minimum, you haven't even provided an excuse. You're just like, oh, this is a given. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything anymore. It seems like a really bad way to live your life. That's all I'm going to say. All right, last post for the day. <laughs> we got to end on a banger. Literally. Hey, Ohio. <laughs> You've won, girls. There's nothing left for me to p shame or, or prove replaceable or mediocre. That title is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to r slash sad. I'm too depressed to grammar. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, irreplaceable. Oh, yeah, that, that fixes the whole title, doesn't it? <laughs> What a tragedy it is to be born with a small or average penis. <laughs> oh, God! Uh, alrighty. <laughs> How your words to express the sadness will be tossed away by people. Not even sympathy. Just met with pushing back at your own emotions. <laughs> uh, well... I think that's also how I would deal with a situation like this. I'd be like, well, have you gotten any complaints or is this all perhaps just in your head? If I sympathize, then I'm reinforcing those negative thoughts in you. But no, it's my job to push those thoughts out of your head or help you to do that. Dude would walk up to me and be like, <laughs> I got a small wang. And I'd be like, I'm sure that's not true. Or would you rather I'd just be like, yeah, sucks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it totally sucks, dude. I can't imagine what that's like. My dong is dinosauric! <laughs> 5.7 inch penis. I didn't ask to be born at all. <laughs> uh, you have invested your entire existence into this fleshy little nerve-filled globule that hangs off the front of your crotch. Why? <laughs> there is so much more about you. I am sure of that. I don't gloat when I wake up. The breakups of being told we're just not a good match right after sex. The disinterest in my penis. <laughs> uh, you're really expecting people to be just hypnotized? 
wow, I was so fascinated by that nerve-filled globule of flesh hanging off the front of your crotch. <laughs> Uh, come on, dude. There is so much more to life. Honestly, 5.7, that's average, I'm pretty sure. Getting told that we're not a good match might not be anything about the size. It might be about how you use it, you know? And then you can open up a conversation, ask a question, be like, well, how could I please you better, you know? If you're really interested in maintaining the relationship, then yeah, you have to communicate. Duh. Sliding it all in, and it barely changes the mood of my lover. The sex is humiliating for me. I mean, chicks need a bit of foreplay. <laughs> what do you expect to just shove it in there and everything's all magically amped up? Nah, dude. <laughs> you gotta work it up a little bit. You know, bite a neck or something like that. Stick your tongue in the rear. Suck her toes. Get wild with it, you know? <laughs> this is supposed to be a fun and positive experience for both of you. Uh, but I assume he's just maybe young, inexperienced, something like that. And he's just like, oh, I put it in. I don't know why it didn't get turned up to 11. Because all you did is put it in. <laughs> it's not a magic wand, all right? <laughs> You gotta work the magic yourself, with your whole body. That is how you get the good good, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't do these long strokes and wild positions. I thrust forward and I'm quickly all in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this dude's terrible. I'm telling you, man, it's not about the size. Your, your whole vibe, your mojo, your tactics, they're all wrong. And maybe that ain't completely your fault, but you do need to open up the conversation and ask the hard question. What can I do better? How can I make this experience nicer for you? A reverse cowgirl has traumatized me with multiple girls. It's so small, it just pops out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe it's mushy, bro. <laughs> If you're really reaching, like, your max, you know, I, I don't think it'll pop out. And I would bet money that this dude is not reaching his max because he's obviously nervous about the experience. Probably also watches some pornography. That's why he's like, oh, it's not big enough. <laughs> don't compare yourself to people who do it for a living, all right? <laughs> Just get in there. Have a good time. Hopefully also make it so that she has a good time. This is like a, a next level insecurity, and it does make me feel bad. I kind of want to gas this dude up, give him some tips, and be like, all right, now go get him, tiger. <laughs> it, it doesn't look sexy seeing a mediocre penis hump a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Stop calling your penis mediocre, bro. You only get one, all right? <laughs> you better learn how to love it and how to wield it. <laughs> she knows it. I knows it. Of course, I'll eat her out as long as she wants, but how long is that gonna be okay? Ten years of dating a guy with a small dick? <laughs> it's her right to go on and try and be happy. To feel excited, wild sex that I could never do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is gonna turn into a cuckolding post, like, right around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. Where is your self-confidence? If you're still not able to please her in 10 years, uh, you got bigger problems. It's a communication issue, like 90% of the time, okay? Sometimes the other 10% people just aren't physically compatible. You're right, too big, too small, whatever, move on. But the other 90%, <laughs> the vast majority, you just need to talk about what you like, what she likes, just have a really open and honest conversations about your expectations when it comes to sex. It's not that hard. <laughs> Once you start, you, you, you won't want to stop. But I don't know, I guess let's just watch this dude beat himself up some more. <laughs> it's pathetic and unwise of me to expect a lifetime of monogamy with a woman. <laughs> I told you this. <laughs> I told you where this is going. 
Cuck. <laughs> the world is a woman's oyster. Men are always lined up to show off and flex for you. <laughs> Even if it only be for a hookup. At least someone out there will join you in bed. With you holding all the cards. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> you put women on like this pedestal and that's not where women even want to be most of the time. They're looking for an equal footing. That's it. How do you expect anybody to respect you if you can't even respect yourself? <laughs> Just go out there and act pathetic and wormy and hope that somebody will hop into bed with you out of pity? It ain't the way, bro. <laughs> you need to take a serious look inside. I've been celibate for the past two plus years after my ex told me she dreamed of banging my friends. An older woman looking at my penis and saying it's the smallest one she's ever seen. <laughs> I'm a grower, not a shower. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta pregame it a little bit. Warm it up before you take the pants off. <laughs> yeah. And other instances as well as trauma after trauma of being told that I'm not enough. Hearing jokes of small penis and being a weaker girly man compared to hung guys. Bro, this is... <laughs> this is really hard to digest. I'll tell you straight up, I think I've talked about it before, but my first experience losing my virginity, that was horrible. Absolutely the most terrible thing that I've ever experienced. <laughs> I was also humiliated. But then I met some other girls who could appreciate me for me, and we had conversations about what they liked or what I liked, and yeah, found ourselves to be more compatible. I guess it could have been, you know, because it was the first time and all. Maybe the first couple of times. But yeah, <laughs> once you start talking, and therefore learning how to wield the tools that you've got, I think you're gonna do a lot better. I am an undesirable, <laughs> God, a pathetic sob story of a man. Every girl is glad to no longer have to accommodate a weenie when she finds a hung man to play with. <laughs> <laughs> Size queens, I guess. Why you? Why are you dating size queens like this? Five point seven? You good, bro? Unless you're lying on the internet. <laughs> All you really gotta do is worry about the motion of the ocean. Going out, everyone is glad there are females. Males? Ugh. It's like we're in excess, with barely any demand. We have to initiate and prove and maintain our relevancy with a girl. As where a girl need only continue to exist for herself to be considered a wonder of beauty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you know why that is? Why women are more particular and men less so? It's because of the investment that is required in reproduction, alright? Man, shoot his shot, he could move on tomorrow. Woman, potentially stuck with that child for not just nine months, but the rest of her life. <laughs> so yes, she has to be selective. I guarantee you the population is 50-50, but you are correct that men have to compete because evolution. And there's nothing wrong with that. Get out there, maybe win a couple of times for God's sake, and then you'll start to feel better about yourself. <laughs> Are you winning, son? <laughs> Are you winning, son? <laughs> I'm celibate. Not out of spite, but to spare myself. And girls who have 300 plus Tinder matches lined up, ready to replace me. Out fuck me. <laughs> Compare me to and... Whatever else can be held against me. Bro, you're on Tinder? <laughs> this dude on Tinder, not knowing about the motion of the ocean, having his ego bruised for no reason at all. Is it because you have a hard time meeting people face to face? Give it a try. Go meet a chick who isn't on Tinder. Or at least a, a normal chick that's on Tinder. <laughs> The ones who are DTF so quick, 
don't bother with that, bro. You're going to be throwing a hot dog down the hallway. You know what I'm saying? She's out there looking for anacondas. And you know you only got like a boa constrictor, so... <laughs> <laughs> Go find somebody who likes boa constrictors. You know what I'm saying? Just be grateful you ain't got a garter snake, right? <laughs> oh, even more so knowing that this adds to the stress and pressure and the failure to get or stay erect, which I can't physiologically control much, will decimate my image as a suave, hot, great guy into... The boy who couldn't make his pee-pee work. <laughs> uh, oh, God, bro. You're in your own head so hard. And I get it, honestly. But honestly, it is time to let that go. You know what I mean? You just gotta be you. Be a person having fun. Stop getting in your own way. Also, it really helps if you uh, don't watch any more pornos. <laughs> <laughs> then your body will leap at the chance. You'll be like, oh, hell yeah. Here we go. <laughs> but if you're, uh, you know, filling up the coom sock, then how can you expect your body to be like, oh, yeah, here, here we go again. Whatever. I don't actually have to perform because we get it either way when we're at home, right? Your body needs training. Have you been helping your body with the training? I have so much advice to give. <laughs> I don't know if any of it will help, but yeah, this is not a really good reason to be sad. The world is yours, ladies, whether you realize it or not. As for myself, a life of tormentful competition awaits me at every turn. At 31, I've grown exhausted. You win, ladies. I concede. <laughs> uh... uh... This is a handful. <laughs> In this game where I was always a losing man, enjoy your time here. You'll always have an ample surplus of males to choose from. Whom would simp for you? <laughs> Whom would simp for you? <laughs> Thou hast seen it. <laughs> I sit at home. Waiting to feed scraps to the rats who come to my patio. Fate is so utterly violent and pitiless for men like myself. And then Anonymous comes and says, Hey, this is going in our slash just neckbeard things. <laughs> Shut up. You're not helping. <laughs> this dude is obviously having a really hard time. And you're like, hey, hey. Which fair, I had a couple laughs at his expense. But overall... He doesn't seem like a terrible person. He does want to get better, you know. I think what he needs is some straightforward advice, and, and that's what I tried to offer him throughout the post. Whether it will work or not, I'm quite unsure, but I have hope at the very least. You can definitely do it. It is all within your hands. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you got to break up with Palmola Henderson. Go your own separate ways. And then you'll find that this body dysmorphia and these erection problems, uh, they fade away. It really is like a magic pill. It starts out hard, but it, it gets a lot easier as you go. So I wish you luck on your journey, whether you do decide to take my advice or not. And yeah, I mean, this dude didn't seem really neckbeardy until, I mean, I guess the, the first and last paragraphs. It's a, it's a neckbeard sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, maybe it does belong in just neckbeard things, but I don't think you needed to tell him that you were going to post it there. That is not being a helper. I could go on a diet. I mean, I won't, but I, I could. You don't really need a job. Uh, I'm 32, and I still live with my parents. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> I've never had a job in my life, and I'm living just fine. And I think most people could do it, but they don't, due to societal norms. Do you understand why that's the norm of society? <laughs> Some people consider a job a necessity, just like food, sleep, and shelter. But it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> However, 
If you don't have access to those things or your parents can't afford to keep you in their house, then a job will be a necessity. Or if they kick you out. God, I wish your parents would kick you out. I wish you could discover some things about the world and how it works. I don't understand. Also, most people like to be independent. <laughs> Me too. But that requires too much work and I don't want to do it. Hence, I won't do it. Thoughts? Not very many thoughts at all, except don't. Why? What is this? R slash nihilism. The biggest argument against nihilism at all is like your own self-preservation. Obviously, you want to live comfortably at your parents' house. You haven't given up completely, so you're not really a nihilist. You're just a lazy bag of trash, and you need to do better. What happens when your parents die, dude? Like... <laughs> no work history at all i oh it's not gonna go well it's not gonna go well next one how can i find an app like tinder where the girls have lower standards and there are no heavy set girls <laughs> uh, oh wow where do i start here there, there isn't one you want to meet interesting people who are interested in you then uh make yourself interesting i am an interesting person <laughs> that's for sure yeah <laughs> i believe you spoken like the human equivalent of a bowl of bran flakes if you can't hack it on tinder bro the lowest common denominator then <laughs> maybe it is time to step your game up the magical app that you've proposed will never exist it's just that easy <laughs> you think you gamers are oppressed, huh? Try living in a society where people think that ponies are for girls. <laughs> uh, wow. See, he's a pony, but he's also a an agent of chaos. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's weird. <laughs> CMA. I'm a 25-year-old neat who made a list of demands to my parents that they must meet before I apply for a job. How about no? How about get out of my house? <laughs> Conditions that must be met in order for me to consider finding employment. Bro, you about to learn some hard lessons. <laughs> One, I'm allowed to spend my income on whatever I want as long as it's legal. That includes alcohol or tobacco or other substances and you may prohibit me from sp in the house, but if I want to drink or eat edibles in the house, then you have to tolerate it. Oh God, dude. You have no foresight at all. Why not save up your money, get your own place? <laughs> I guess this is like the follow-up post from that first guy. Two, I'm allowed to engage in whatever risky behavior I want, so long as it's legal. This includes things like walking around in sub-zero temperatures in shorts, riding a motorcycle without a helmet, and playing tackle football without a helmet. Also, if I want to go to the tanning booth or get tattoo or piercings on parts of my body, you can't prohibit this. Riding a motorcycle without a helmet, huh? Well, maybe this problem will solve itself. <laughs> <laughs> Three, you will purchase cable TV and apologize for not buying it my entire life. Be glad I'm not demanding reparations. <laughs> reparations? Uh, $50,000 in payment, since that's how much 22 years of cable would have cost. Good lord, dude. Th that's where your life went all wrong? Because you didn't have cable TV? You could have used that time for, like, self-betterment. <laughs> Obviously, you did not. Four, you'll pay for me to get my ears pierced and buy me the sword earrings that I want. Oh, God. Uh, you, you will apologize for not letting me get them pierced when I was younger. Bro, you, you 25. <laughs> you can't afford to get your own ears pierced? This is a sad situation. Sadder than sad. Five, you'll apologize for being strict when I was younger and admit that you were wrong to restrict the media content I was allowed to access as a minor. 
Can you imagine how far, how much further off the deep end this dude would be <laughs> if he was allowed to just watch whatever he wanted? Nah, the parents did the best that they could and he's just determined to be a loser. I have never seen somebody like this committed to failing. <laughs> Six, I will not be expected to do chores under any circumstances. Why? Because you work? Everybody works and then they come home and do chores. This, <laughs> this is real life. Seven, I'll be allowed to say whatever profanities and derogatory or violent things I want in the songs that I post on SoundCloud. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, how many plays you got on SoundCloud, my dude? <laughs> You're not allowed to prevent me from using my YouTube account, regardless of how offensive or vulgar the songs I make are. Is that your, your path to the top? No matter how edgy the songs you make are, I, I'm pretty sure they still have to be good on some level. He's really hoping this is his ticket out, but... Haven't even heard the songs, I can guarantee you it ain't. He don't apply himself in life, why is he gonna apply himself to music seriously? If these conditions are unacceptable to you, then you're welcome to evict me. If you lack the guts to do so, then you're stuck with me and my unemployment. Are you serious? I will put you on the street right now. The paperwork has started, okay? In three months, we'll never talk to you again. And that was your choice. Your demands are ludicrous. Everyone here is dumber for having listened to it. <laughs> and uh, we gotta move on. It's never gonna happen and I refuse to spend any more time in fantasy land. So, so goodbye. <laughs> Forget white girls and Latinas. Have you ever seen a traditional Japanese girl? Yeah, <laughs> I, I was in Japan for four years. Japanese girls are so wholesome and pure. Oh, I mean, you put them up on a pedestal. I think most women are, are pretty wholesome and pure, except for the ones that ain't. But even then, you shouldn't necessarily write them off. Japanese women, just like basically every other woman on the planet, yeah, they like to bang it out. <laughs> I don't know where you got wholesome and pure from, but that's simply not the case. And if it was the case, then you'd have to apply it to every other woman on the planet. I guess that's what this episode is today. I refuse to get a job and I deify Asian women. <laughs> it's really a weird vibe, but we'll keep going. Uh, how do I take the smell of pee out of my carpet? <laughs> uh, well, one, don't pee on the carpet. I, 30 male, live in my parents' basement. Oh, God, there's so many of them. And I had a girl come over to my room that is located in my parents' basement for the first time. <laughs> and I still have my V-card. Oh boy, you, you invited a, a woman over to your neckbeard nest in, in hopes of getting some. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> but when she came over, she said, it smells like piss in here. <laughs> uh, and I was planning to make a move on her. But after she said that, it discouraged me. And we sat and talked for a little while, and she left. I mean, I guess you're picking up what she's putting down. The clues are there that this is not going to happen, but you didn't even try. <laughs> you're just that scared of a woman. I'm sure there's more context. I'm sure she's like a, a study partner for this 30-year-old community college student. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just spitballing here. The reason why it smells like pee in my room in the basement is because sometimes when I need to pee, I pee in empty water bottles. And I leave it in my drawer until I empty out the water bottles, but sometimes I pee in the water bottle and it misses the mark. And some gets on the carpet, so the carpet in my room smells like pee. But it's a really big carpet, so I can't put it in the washing machine. This is so bad. Do you do you not realize how bad this is? I don't even have a joke. I legitimately just want you to get some help, man. This is not okay. 
It, it didn't bother me before, but now it does. Uh, since it basically blocked my ding dong. So I'm wondering, how could I clean my carpet and, and get the smell of pee out? Promise me that you're not going to do this no more. I mean, even if you promise me, I don't believe you. So figure it out. <laughs> I don't want to pay someone to clean my pee-covered carpet. I want to do it myself. Yeah, for the first time in your life. <laughs> By the way, don't say I'm lazy for peeing in water bottles. If you haven't lived in a basement before, climbing stairs every time you need to go pee is torture. Torture, dude. <laughs> Uh, hyperbolic statement of the year. Honestly, I think going up and down those stairs could do you some good, son. If you really insist on peeing in bottles, maybe carry the bottles with you upstairs when you when you finally do decide to go upstairs, right? So yeah, twice a month, just <laughs> take all your pee bottles and bring them up the stairs and try not to fall down and cover yourself in your own pee pee because while that would be just comical and hilarious... <laughs> I think that would lead to stashing even more pee in this nondescript drawer that you've described. <laughs> it's really weird. Why do you keep it in the drawer? Because because probably you're embarrassed of it, right? And if it's something that's embarrassing to you, maybe you should choose to live differently. I don't know if this chick was DTF or whatever, but really you should be living for you, please. All right. How about this one here? <laughs> Anime women are so much better than real women. <laughs> it's amazing how they sound like real women, but they're so much more mature and wise and, and better than real women. I hope women are reading this and feel inferior to 2D anime women who sound and act better than you'll ever be. Bump. <laughs> Why are you bumping this? <laughs> what are you talking about? What, what sort of reaction do you expect? You got your six up votes for some mysterious reason. Please take them and go. You want to know why anime women sound more mature and wise? Because they have a team of hundreds <laughs> that, that put them to the page and bring them to life. All right. Those aren't her thoughts. She has no actual thoughts. It's a team of writers attempting to, to feed a moral to you. Uh, but apparently that hasn't worked at all. <laughs> Part of me does kind of want to encourage this because that means this dude is like out of the dating pool. <laughs> He's got to leave real life women alone. So good. I highly encourage this and I wish you and your waifu the best. <laughs> Did that sound believable? <laughs> As a February guy, I only trust someone who can see three things in me. One, the sorrow behind my smile. Two, the love behind my anger. And three, the reason behind my silence. Wow, dude, you're super edgy. You know this is one of those jackets they got off Facebook Marketplace or whatever. Don't mess with a girl whose dad is a Capricorn who likes the color blue. <laughs> like, what are you talking about, man? And of course, there's a wolf on it. It may not be strictly just neckbeard things. It's just kind of a lame jacket, but I'll allow it. Obviously, he thinks he's tougher than he is. <laughs> we'll just move on. Minor coded or not, their height. Any girl under five foot seven is basically a red flag for being minor coded since that's around the common height for children. This applies to canon head characters and OCs. Five foot seven? What, what kids are walking around here at five foot seven? <laughs> nope. Nope. All I can really say is nope. This seems like a really hard reach. Make sure you stretch your back out before reaching this hard. If we're talking about, like, actual little people, I, I think under four feet tall, like, maybe, maybe. But even then, it seems like getting involved in something that you are supposed to have nothing to do with. Like, if you see somebody dating somebody over seven feet, are you like, oh, she's into gigantism. It's gi giant coded. <laughs> it's the dumbest thing in the world, okay? Bah, I'm going to Southeast Asia to lose my V-card. Please don't. We don't want you. <laughs> I never thought that a white male in their early 20s already has to consider going to Southeast Asia. 
to not only lose my V card, but to enjoy experiences that were denied to me in university and high school. The, the, the experiences were there, dude. The fact that you didn't get to experience them is not my problem, okay? Now you're gonna make it all of Southeast Asia's problem? No, no. Stay in your country, okay? If you can come over, respect the people in the culture, which I know you can't because you don't even have respect for yourself, then come over and try to live like a normal life, you know? But if you're here for sex tourism, I don't want you. I don't want to know you. I don't want to know that you exist. I hate everything about it. I'm tired of being the nice guy. I listened to every woman whine about how their date was treating them like crap, but all of a sudden I learned that their crappy behaviors are being rewarded with boom boom by that woman. Oh my god, OP, you're such a victim. I'm sure you were just listening to that out of the goodness of your heart with no expectations whatsoever, right? Right? <laughs> Man, no woman's ever expressed interest in me besides using me for a free meal because I work a good job and that I am on average smarter than most men my age. Citation needed. <laughs> I will never be the bad boy that women want me to be, but that's their fault, not mine. Yeah, nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> I should be able to enjoy S3X. It's a necessary milestone for character development. <laughs> uh, I think you're putting a lot of emphasis on it. I'd wager there's plenty of people out there that have lots of character developed without ever experiencing that specific thing. But I don't know, maybe it is the magic bullet for this guy. Maybe he'll develop a personality as soon as, as soon as he gets some. Probably not. <laughs> Yet, because I treated women like humans, I'm somehow the bad guy? Except you, you're not treating them like humans. You have this hyper-focus on one thing that they can offer you, and it's just, it's really sad and weird. I can't wait to fly to Southeast Asia to bang it out, because it's about time to rebel against society for being a good guy. I don't know if participating in sex tourism is gonna make you a good person, okay? <laughs> uh, somebody comments and says, I just wanna know why Southeast Asia is the surefire place. And honestly, I've seen a lot of loser dudes walking around here. You could probably come over here and get it, you know, paid or not. However, I don't think it's gonna fulfill you, make you a better person, give you that, that piece of yourself that you seem to be looking for. It's been inside the entire time. Getting laid, it's one of the easiest things in the world. Developing a meaningful relationship, that is the difficult part. And I don't think this dude has it within himself to ever maintain or keep a relationship. You might find a woman who's willing to get involved because of the color of your skin and what she thinks you can offer her. But the second she figures out what you're really all about, who you really are as a person, if she has any self-respect at all, she'll be up and out, you know? And then you'll be back to square one. Good luck with the whole personality development thing. <laughs> the, the overseas cultural enrichment thing. Uh, but I don't think it's gonna work out the way you think it's gonna work out. And thank God for that, honestly. These women, a lot of them led hard lives already. They don't need you making it any harder. <laughs> we'll move on. Oh no, a tribute to women of the Far East. Look at this creep. Oh, I hate him. This video has totally broken me in terms of finding a woman in the Western American market. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it was the video that did that. Not the fact that you're clearly a creep with a receding hairline and bad genetics. No personality outside of fetishizing Asian women. There's, there's, there's a lot to unpack here, honestly, but we'll, we'll continue on. That can bring as much to the table as these ladies in other lands. I mean, given her obvious beauty, that's one thing, but take a look at the drive and the desire to be of service. <laughs> uh, I think you're misinterpreting this. 
I'm pretty sure she's only moving those those logs around for some social media clout, right? And then the ironic part is that if if he saw an American or Canadian woman doing this, he'd be like, "Oh, look at that's so manly! How gross and disgusting!" <laughs> Uh, it's like you, you you can't seem to pick a lane, and I don't understand why that is. With a couple pieces of metal and a few strips of leather, she's going to elevate these logs to a standing position. And, uh, and the reason will become obvious in a minute here. But I want you to put this into contrast. I think you mean context. With the ladies in the American region. And they're complaining about who's having to do dishes or who's having to put the toilet seat up. Dude, toilet seat is the easiest thing ever. <laughs> if you're incapable of doing that, I, I, I got no hope for you. Oh, I, I wish my man would do more. <laughs> How many times do you think he heard that? Not just from his girlfriend or wife, but from his mother. <laughs> I wish my son wasn't a, a fat creep on TikTok fetishizing Asian women. <laughs> Aim high, I guess. This woman's gone out and elevated these logs with just some leather strips, and she's gonna she's gonna wrap them around these logs like a pupusa and carry them back to her village, to her city, to her man. <laughs> I mean, if she got a man, why is she out here carrying the logs for herself? What? <laughs> it seems quite cruel to send your lady into the woods and be like, Hey, go, go papoosa them logs back. <laughs> I know this guy would do exactly that, though. He'd be like, oh, I don't know. I got shin splints. <laughs> He's such a loser. Uh... And she'll contribute materially. With the sweat of her own brow and her ingenuity. Meanwhile, if I don't hold my lady's coat in the mall, it's an all-time craft fit. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. No wonder mail order brides are, are so in demand now. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, my skin is crawling off of my body. What? Please. None of this ever, okay? We are reaching levels of cringe that shouldn't even be scientifically possible, but here we are. Here we are! <laughs> His measure of a good woman is how much <laughs> her max load capacity. <laughs> and I mean like, carrying loads. <laughs> oh, I think my brain just leaked out of my ears. This is probably the worst thing that I've seen on this subreddit. Women definitely are strong, you know, they can carry logs, but how can they carry logs and also all of the very clear emotional baggage that this dude is dragging around? <laughs> I hope that he, he just, just be single forever, okay? That's the answer for you. Give up. The dating pool is really big. And, and we decided we don't need you in it. So, <laughs> thank you for your riveting commentary, but I'm out. I'm out. Hey, hey, what's up, bro? You probably get asked this a lot, but why does your primary chin not have a beard, but your secondary one does? <laughs> uh, that is so cold-blooded. But, he makes a strong point. <laughs> I got a lot of questions too. The obvious answer is probably like that it's it's hard to shave a fat fold, you know? But I hope that it is like a legitimately just a fashion statement. He chose to do this. I would respect him so much. So I'm gonna lie to myself and go with that theory. <laughs> Women have lives that are 10 times better and I can prove it once and for all. Oh, here we go. As a child, I used to be really excited for cutesy things like kittens and trains. Trains are cutesy? <laughs> okay. But now I no longer feel excitement for trains or cutesy things like kittens. Yet women retain their excitement and are not broken individuals like me. 
I mean, that sounds more like a problem with you. You are the one that decided to let these things go. You caved to societal pressure when it said you shouldn't like kittens as a man. And come to think of it, I think most men do like kittens, small animals in, in some capacity, right? I don't know. Continuing, it doesn't matter if testosterone, being bullied, or, or being rejected is to blame. The bottom line is that I am male and my life sucks. It doesn't matter because the bottom line is women still love cutesy things, which is evidence that their lives are 10 times better and their mental health is 10 times better. Where are we getting this 10 times number from? Can I ask you that? I will admit he's he's almost on to a point here, okay? The male rate of suicide is absolutely higher. Three to four times higher. You can go ahead and look that up. So he's almost stumbling on to a point, but I don't think it has anything to do with cutesy things like kittens. Like, you can like kittens if you want and still have bad mental health. Lord knows I do. <laughs> list. <laughs> Just generic list, okay? Males first to die on the Titanic, women and children saved first. Males first on the front lines, women are given sniper roles or medic or, or air support roles in wars. Interesting, interesting. How many wars have you been in, OP? Just, I'm just wondering. <laughs> I can't even enjoy the finer things in life, like bubble baths. As a kid, I used to love them, but now I have a hairy, gross male body with bad aesthetics, and it's smelly, so I can no longer enjoy them. I'm also too tall to fit in the tubs, because males are taller, and also males look like savages. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I do agree with that. Man, big, hairy, I don't know how women love him. Women, small, cute. But how can a savage enjoy the fire things in life? Especially if their mind is consumed with how unwanted and how unloved they are. Jeez, man, I don't know. That third point in your list sounds a lot like gender dysphoria to me. That is 100% armchair psychology. Take it with a large spoonful of salt, but yeah, dude clearly isn't happy in his own body. And I do think that's really sad, you know? I will continue to enjoy bubble baths no matter how tall and hairy I get. The unloved and unwanted point that he made, like, yeah, that, that's a terrible thing as well, but really it comes from within. You know, you gotta learn to love and accept yourself before you go off the rails and start pointing fingers at every woman around you like, <laughs> your mental health is better than mine, so you're the bad guy. Like, no, that's that's not how any of this works, okay? Uh, women can wear makeup and flamboyant clothes to attract a mate. You can do that too, bro, I'm saying. <laughs> but males are stuck with whatever bad genes they may have and must proudly advertise their bad genes. I don't know, man. Seen kids, early 2000s, they, they were killing it. Just a little eyeliner might go a long way. Maybe you try it out. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. I'm just saying, what you're doing doesn't seem to be working, so why not try something different? I do feel really bad for this dude, and I refuse to accept the answer of like, oh, he's just a broken person. That is how life works. It really isn't, dude. You can choose change at any point, but you, you seem intent on choosing misery for whatever reason, and I hope that you get that figured out, you know? Stop blaming other people and take responsibility for your own problems. That's it. <laughs> All right, last one for the day. Uh, I told my tattoo it's I want to scars on my face and blacking out my eyes. It was painful, but I didn't twitch. After he was done, I demanded for a mirror. He said, What? I repeated and angry, I said, Mirror! <laughs> I'm pretty sure most tattoo artists show you what they did, like, as soon as it's over. You don't have to demand the mirror. This is all going on in dude's head. As I was moving solely, not just yet of getting up, I started to cackle and laugh. He said in an upsetting way, I did what I could. Are you okay? God, the syntax of this is just horrible. 
As I got up to look at myself and that bigger mirror, he says, Sir, are you okay? As I laugh even louder in pain, <laughs> and laughing and calmly said, I never felt better with the creepiest smile. Don't ask why. You'll never understand why. I hope to never understand why. <laughs> <laughs> you, please stay away from me. You're not welcome here. If I see you around my shop again, you're gonna catch two in the chest and one in the head, all right? <laughs> Imagine trying this hard to be edgy. This guy's entire life is just consumed with edge lordery. And you can see it because he posted this on his social media. He's got these tattoos and whatnot. He probably can't even enjoy a, a proper bubble bath. I think that's really what all this boils down to. Take a bubble bath today. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I hope you'll like, comment, sub. Maybe share the video around. That'd be pretty cool. Follow me on all the things. Thank you to my Patreon patrons and YouTube channel members, as always. Always remember, you are loved, you are worthy, you definitely, definitely deserve it, and I shall see you in the next one. So until then, friends, bye-bye. Uh, That's simply not true. That's impossible! No! Now, imagine this. A Japanese guy, really into American culture. <laughs> I think that's an oxymoron. American culture. Yeah, boy. Capitalism is our culture. <laughs> Learns English through Family Guy and constantly speaks like Peter Griffin. <laughs> I'd honestly love to see it, bro. Between the Family Guy cutaways and extremely quirky Japanese humor, <laughs> I don't know if I'd ever stop laughing. Either that or I would just never, ever know what they're talking about or referencing. <laughs> and I'm kind of okay with that. If you can afford to attend a convention, you can afford deodorant. Fair, fair, but you know... Priorities, stuff like that. <laughs> the look on her face is like so priceless too. It's like, what the f <laughs> Why did I even come here? That's often how I feel too. I hear like a cool story about a convention. I'm like, oh, maybe I should go. And then I think about what that would actually mean. And I'm like, mm, <laughs> better not. <laughs> I'll stay at home. That's fine. Having a big head saved my life. When I was 14, I wanted to buy a fedora, but none of them fit me. <laughs> Bless the big-headed boys, dude. <laughs> I'm right with you on that one, man. You got saved from yourself. I mean, I had quite a variety of stupid hats when I was around 14, 15. <laughs> Just to be cool and quirky. <laughs> but a fedora was never among them. Thank God. I just never had the inclination, honestly. I think uh, this whole neckbeard thing was before my time a little bit. <laughs> so I got to miss out on like the ultimate cringe. Plus I rocked a mohawk for most of my teenage years, so <laughs> it's not really conducive to any sort of hat. Oh my god, dude, this is so perfect. The neckbeard alignment chart. Oh, why didn't I do this? <laughs> We've got the innocent, wholesome, good boy. That's right, he just spent all his good boy points for some candies. Innocent neutral wolfaboo? I'm not sure about that, man. I'd probably swap the wolfaboo with uh, a mall ninja, no? But then that will put him into wholesome neutral. You know what, I'm just going to scratch out the entire innocent neutral category. <laughs> innocent lost his mind, white knight. Don't speak to a lady like that. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta load them white knights, boy. Think they're doing the right thing for society, but really just, just embarrassing themselves. <laughs> Got the neutral wholesome mall ninja. Nice try, kid. Ome wa mo shindaru. Just go buy a bunch of crappy knives from the mall. Neutral, neutral gentleman. Milady with the tip. Again, I don't know if neckbeards can be like truly neutral or truly innocent. We're just going to scrub out the entire top half <laughs> of this chart. We've got the neutral... Lost his mind, gamer. <laughs> well, I feel a little bit attacked by that one, but it's honestly not too far off the mark, I guess. 
<laughs> and then we've got the depraved alignments. Oh, God. Wholesome depraved <laughs> brony. Another oxymoron. The wholesome depraved. I do not trust bronies, dude. <laughs> there is just something inherently wrong with that. Got the neutral depraved weeb. Yep, he's got his lolly body pillow. I said she's 900 years old. <laughs> okay, but she looks like a child. And then he's like, it's just a drawing. And I'm like, yeah, bro, it's just a drawing. <laughs> Chill yourself. Depraved lost his mind incel. That's the most accurate one of them all. All woman must die because my mental form is too small. Now, I have not touched any of the incel subreddits, and I don't know if I really want to. <laughs> it's just, like, so mean-spirited. There's really not a whole lot of fun to be had. It's just people hating to hate, you know? At least weeaboos and neckbeards are, are kind of derpy, and you can have a laugh. I like to laugh at weirdos. I do not like to soak myself in vitriol. <laughs> so I don't think we're going to be covering them anytime in the future. But here they are, represented on the alignment chart. <laughs> <laughs> and and the most accurate at that, I think. Aside from the innocent, wholesome, good boy. Because if I was a neckbeard, I'd be a good boy. <laughs> All I really want is my tendies, bro. <laughs> just scrolled through the AOC resign hashtag, and I just can't figure out what she did to piss off so many anime characters. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there that I don't really enjoy AOC as a political figure. I don't like any of her policies and things like this. What I do like about her is how much she makes the pearl clutchers go, oh my. <laughs> that video came out when she first got elected of her dancing or something like that. And people are like, this is a politician. <laughs> like, yeah, bro, despite having no soul, they're, they're kind of people. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> We're firebombing already. <laughs> all right, here's my thesis. We shall send all neckbeards to North Korea. Hear me out, hear me out. Their fedoras, still fashionable. They will have exclusively Asian chicks. No contact with the West, of course. Their fatness will be seen as a symbol of great wealth. <laughs> <laughs> They will be the only ones who can grow beards, so neck beards will be considered cool. Nationalism is popular. I honestly just think that this is a great idea. <laughs> a great idea not because of the reasons that you listed, but we would be destroying North Korea from the inside, which is actually a pretty big brain play, if you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> will collapse their economy by filling up their population with neckbeards who refuse to leave their basement. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see from the picture, their their leader is basically qualified. <laughs> he doesn't have a neckbeard, but again, is the beard on the inside the camps. Check out my teespring, pick up the shirt. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> hey, y'all. Okay, Boomer Girl got Twitter famous. She got like over 100,000 followers in a week. And then she mentioned on stream last night that she has a boyfriend. And within 12 hours, she suspended. <laughs> Lamau. <laughs> God, that's so sad, dude. That's why a lot of like streamers and YouTube personalities and stuff like this keep their social lives extremely private, you see. <laughs> Honestly, she should be able to talk about her romantical life if she is so inclined, but <laughs> people had just like gotten into an e-relationship with this woman that they'd never met before. <laughs> they were like, how dare she have a boyfriend? <laughs> Bro, you are the one in the wrong here. What, what made you think that like she'd be halfway interested? I guess it's one of those things where like, you know, she's pretty, but not too pretty. Girl next door kind of pretty. <laughs> so these dudes like thought, oh yeah, she's definitely attainable. And then they learned she's not attainable and <laughs> let the games begin, dude. <laughs> that is so horrifying. I'm sure she could get her account reinstated, but at this point, why? <laughs> 
<laughs> I just go ghost, man. But I don't actually care enough to, to look up if she did or not. <laughs> Godspeed. Wipes Doritos dust onto cum stained sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> Good start. <laughs> hmm. Time to pick out a flawless wife on the internet. Uh, no, not Rihanna. Her forehead's too big. <laughs> God damn, dude. It's so close to home. Relates closely to the last post about the OK Boomer girl. But really, this is like an eternal tweet, you know? Made in 2015, it's never been more applicable. <laughs> <laughs> I was also going to make some joke about Rihanna getting punched in the forehead by Chris Brown, but nah, that's in bad taste. <laughs> We're going to skip right over that one. <laughs> I was adjusting my hat when a girl walked by and she thought I was tipping it to her. Ah, I want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> myself? I have to wonder how you knew what she was thinking about it. Did she like curtsy back or some shit like that? <laughs> <laughs> says good day <laughs> well then you tell your boyfriend that he needs to watch his back whoa this dude looks so tough and scary <laughs> he's actually looking a little bit malnourished <laughs> I think if he approached me I'd break him over my knee like a stick <laughs> Everybody's tough over Snapchat, bro. <laughs> Come and see me in the streets. <laughs> the wildest part is he doesn't think that he's wrong. He thinks that he's doing this chick a favor and like saving her from some dude. But <laughs> you're trying to break up what is probably a decent relationship that both of these people want to be in. But you just can't handle letting two people be happy together without you being included. <laughs> <laughs> he needs his ass kicked. That's all I'm saying. And and it probably happened at one point or another. If he keeps talking that. <laughs> 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 Wait, a pro Smash player is getting accused of cheating because his girlfriend rubbed his back. <laughs> that is the most Smash Bros thing that I have ever heard. <laughs> Next up, pro Smash Bros player accused of cheating because he took a shower before the tournament. <laughs> I have no idea what's being referenced here, honestly. I don't keep up with the competitive Smash community because it's pretty cringe, all things considered. <laughs> what's most interesting to me, though, is I posted a console poll earlier, a couple days ago, asking which is the neckbeardiest console aside from the PC. Because PC, obviously. <laughs> and surprisingly, Xbox is taking the lead because I guess people associate like Mountain Dew and Halo and Doritos all together. When really, Smash Bros is, is a strong contender. I think the Switch is in second place, but it's a distant second, which kind of surprised me, honestly. Given what a hard on most of these beards seem to have for Smash Bros. Although, I think most people like Smash Bros. <laughs> It's just a pretty awesome franchise, all things considered. There ain't no way in hell I'm just letting the neckbeards have that one. <laughs> Fight me. White dude between 15 and 24 who got straight C's in high school and is smarter than everyone else in the world. Starter pack. <laughs> Good lord. This is so accurate, it hurts. <laughs> oh no. Luckily, I don't have to feel personally attacked because I'm a white dude, but I'm outside the age range. I did get straight C's in high school, but I definitely don't think that I'm smarter than everybody else. As the great Pat the Bunny said, <laughs> Growing up, I was the smartest kid I knew, but maybe that was just because I didn't know that many kids. <laughs> All I know is now, I feel the opposite. <laughs> totally topical. Deadpool was pretty funny, though. Fight Club's pretty cool, too. South Park's taken a, a nosedive <laughs> in recent years, and uh, everything else is, is just trying too hard. This could also be the positive societal messages that have been vastly misconstrued starter pack. <laughs> Feminism is cancer, he typed, vaping and chugging Mountain Dew. 
<laughs> it's killing us, man. <laughs> the microwave dinged. His taquitos were ready. <laughs> <laughs> what a worldly gentleman eating taquitos instead of tendies or Hot Pockets. <laughs> this is part of my trip around the world. Yesterday I had lo mein, tomorrow I'm having pizza. <laughs> when you don't leave the house, this is as close as you get, okay? <laughs> it's killing us, men. Bro, you know what kills everybody? Time. <laughs> You can't blame nothing but time. Ooh, made a post. <laughs> this sub is so f Someone mentioned this a sub in my post just because I was venting my frustration about women being shallow and having high standards. Well, not every guy who criticizes females is a fat basement dweller, you a bunch of beta male white knighting. This is definitely the place to go and lodge your complaint, okay? <laughs> Somebody mentioned this subreddit, and now I'm going to march right into the lion's den. <laughs> Don't blame me if you got ate up, bro. <laughs> I would like to see how all of this devolved, but unfortunately, it's, it's not a thread archive. It's just a, a screenshot. Probably the dude realized what a horrible mistake it was and deleted the post and or his user account like <laughs> minutes later. <laughs> but at least we have this glorious piece of history. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> hey, uh, the 30-year-old guy who won't leave his parents' house is now on InfoWars. <laughs> <laughs> Too accurate. Look at Alex Jones. He's like, you ain't moving into my house. <laughs> this is my house in the background. You can't move into there. <laughs> or maybe this is actually legitimate like i know nothing about this guest speaker aside from the way he looks but it might actually be a story i would totally be willing to do the research and go dig the story up but that would involve going to infowars <laughs> which <laughs> i just don't think that i'm prepared for I spend a lot of time, neck deep, in a lot of cringe, but <laughs> nothing quite that toxic. <laughs> I have to build up my tolerance first. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, we know what this comment section is, don't we? <laughs> if I lived with a woman as sexy as you, I would just jerk off all day. Bruh. <laughs> It's got to be the most virgin thing I have ever heard. <laughs> you do realize that you could do more stuff, you know? <laughs> it's not 100% about just jerking the gherkin, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just get consent first, and you could discover a whole new world. <laughs> this is one of those dudes that's going to cry afterwards. He's going to be like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> she just got on top of me and stuff started coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Another Smash Bros meme, dude. <laughs> Guy at Smash Tournament puts on deodorant. Oh, we, uh, we don't do that here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to rip on, like, <laughs> every pro Smash player out there that goes to tournaments, but... If you watch tournament videos, <laughs> then you'll see it for yourself. Let's go ahead. Let's put some up on the screen right now. I'm not going to name names, but I will show you pictures that are freely available through Google. <laughs> and then I don't have to say anything more. A picture is worth a thousand words. That's a 20 minute video in itself. <laughs> I spent my whole life memorizing frame data. I don't have time to shower. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. <laughs> we all make choices, I guess. I guess. <laughs> if you see anyone dressed as Pickle Rick for Halloween, please be sure to tell them how much you love Veggie Tales. <laughs> <laughs> Together, we can stop them. This is from 2017, bro. Pickle Rick. I'm feeling old already. <laughs> Half a decade ago. Boy. Nah, but, but Larry the Cucumber is a G, though. <laughs> Handing out those good life lessons for the kids. 
man, you just can't beat it. <laughs> I definitely watch Veggie Tales over Rick and Morty. Veggie Tales got that personality. <laughs> Oh, good. I found my heart to swallow pills. Uh, if you can afford to play Magic the Gathering, you can afford soap. Yeah! <laughs> Throw these away. That's simply not true. It's not true! <laughs> you can ask Ramtide about this one. I know that boy loves Magic the Gathering, but he still chooses soap. He's prioritizing in the correct way. <laughs> It's just so wild to me to think that somebody's like, oh, two dollars for a bar of soap? Nah, I'll buy another booster pack. <laughs> Half of it is just land, okay? I don't know, man. I never understood the appeal of trading card games anyways. Video games? Yes, I'm all over it. Trading card games? I'm like, meh, it's paper. <laughs> I don't care about these papers. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry we have to say this, but... Unfortunately, people's personal hygiene is, uh, starting to degrade. <laughs> <laughs> it was at one standard, and now it's fallen from there. No, dude, I think it was at the bottom standard to begin with. <laughs> For the benefit of all, please bathe yourselves. <laughs> and wash your clothes, because no one wants to have an embarrassing conversation about body odor which results in you being asked to leave and not coming back until you're cleaner. Please, think about yourself and others. We all have to share this gaming space, and it's not nice for others to have to put up with your lack of personal hygiene. Thank you for taking the time to read this, and we hope you enjoy your time here, the staff of Harlequins. <laughs> uh, you see these signs in game shops like a shocking amount. <laughs> You think it would just be universal at this point that the neckbeard's like, oh, I'm going to a social gathering. I need to shower. <laughs> but it's just not. I don't understand. You don't need to be pristine. It's not like you're having a first date. Just, you know, mouth, armpits, balls, and ass. Give yourself a hooker bath. I think that. I think that's the rhyme. <laughs> it's just so wild that these signs pop up endlessly. There's, There's got to be some sort of disorder or like mental disconnect that connects all these neckbeards together. You know what I mean? Because this seems to be a recurring theme. I guess this is all part of the research that we do here at Red X Industries, but <laughs> <laughs> it can be hard to stomach sometimes wading in amongst these type of folk. <laughs> no wonder YouTube demonetizes this stuff sometimes because it gets grungy. <laughs> <laughs> They'll understand me in Japan. <laughs> I've seen this one so many times before and it never gets old. <laughs> this fine, upstanding Japanese citizen <laughs> works a full week at his job so he can provide for his family and keep life moving forward. And then he's subjected to this. <laughs> Some weirdo with a kid body pillow and a pink wig. <laughs> this is the reaction we should all have, honestly. Like, what the hell am I looking at? <laughs> you can have them if you want, Japan. <laughs> God knows we don't want them back. <laughs> ah, they don't want them either. Not even his parents want him, even though they funded this trip to Japan. They hoped that he'd get Shanghai or something. Little did they know that that's in China. Shanghai, China. <laughs> this is ridiculous, dude. I did meet some people like this in the Navy. We had my my extremely skinny neckbeard roommate, which I'm sure I'll write the story down someday. But man, that dude was such a trip. <laughs> Luckily, he didn't go out or off base very much to like expose the Japanese citizens to what it really means to be a super weird American dude. <laughs> they continued thinking that Navy guys were cool. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> the illusion could have been shattered in an instant. <laughs> uh. Hey, women don't like it when men don't trim their neck beards. <sighs> Be gone, thought! <laughs> <laughs>
Be gone, fuck! My ancient artifact. Oh my god. It has been going on for thousands of years. You ever wonder how long neckbeards have been around for? Forever. We just didn't have the term for it quite yet. <laughs> <laughs> but this is definitive proof. I'd like to know what the hell this is, but uh, I don't have time to reverse image Google search it. So <laughs> there it is. Maybe somebody in the comments can enlighten me a little bit more. Tinder in Asia for white guys is insane. <laughs> I'm a tall, fit white guy with blue eyes in Asia, and the supply of women is limitless. One can meet with several women each day, even if you only swipe right every 40th person. I only swipe right on the hottest ones. <laughs> One can't even keep up with all the meeting requests. In Europe and the US, it wasn't like that. Anyway, next date coming up in an hour. Smiley face. God, this app is amazing. Thank you, cell phone Jesus. Huh? Oh, yeah, fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm not buying any of that. I mean, it is true, you know, <laughs> for a white guy in Asia, it's relatively easy. But see, that's the whole problem. You get people who experience no play stateside, and then they get over to Asia and just act a fool, making all the white guys out here look like assholes because they can't simply treat human beings like human beings. You know what I'm saying? Oh, great. They find you attractive. Why not take advantage of that and uh, objectify and fetishize every woman that you meet? Ugh, it's just such a bad take, dude. You know this dude was not shit in the States, and that's why he's so happy and surprised to be in Asia, uh, where everybody likes him or something like that. Yeah, because they just can't see or realize how trash you are. <laughs> it's quite simple. And I do think that he's overstating it here, but I, I do have a neckbeard story of my own that I might tell one of these days about a dude who does exactly this for exactly that reason, because he is... Complete trash back in the States. And then he comes here and he's like, oh my God, people will actually talk to me. <laughs> yeah, good for you. Try not to fuck it up. Because once they find out what's really underneath your, your skin, <laughs> they're going to be quite disappointed, I'm sure. Hey, Stacy, get a load of this nerd. Hey, women don't like it when men don't trim their neck beards. <sighs> Be gone, thought! <laughs> Be gone, thought! <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this is some good parody. Although we did miss, like, the lice crawling through the beard and stuff like that. He is sufficiently greasy, though. I'll give you that. Good job, J. Hall Comics. I actually creeped his Twitter a little bit before we started recording. He's worked on, like, college humor and stuff. Which I don't know if that's the best credential, but I do enjoy this comic, at least. <laughs> <laughs> the two genders love differently. Men love unconditionally. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that goes out the window. Remember the Tinder Asia guy? <laughs> <laughs> He's never known love before. Women only love the life that you give them. Ugh. They never loved you, and never will, unless they sir emotionally damaged. You 100% got that backwards, dude. <laughs> Women love with their whole heart, alright? The ones that don't love are emotionally damaged. That's pretty simple. And I think it goes for men too. Men who can't feel love are emotionally damaged. So let me ask you this. I know I ask in every video, but tell me, OP, uh, who hurt you? <laughs> who hurt you? Who hurt you? <laughs> what happened? It's gonna be okay. We're gonna get through this together. <laughs> you guys should just read old books and watch old movies and listen to old songs. <laughs> Uh, yeah, don't consume this new media. They're just trying to poison your mind, brainwash you, give you a 5G injection, and, and turn all the frogs gay. Permit the frog drink the gay potion. I'm a fag nigga, fuck me in a Tesla.
<laughs> this is why I only like old stuff. You've been warned by billions of men. You just ignored them so far. You want to know why <laughs> I ignored them? Really, I ain't even got to explain myself, dude. Look at you. Look at me. Who seems happier? <laughs> oh, I can't imagine going through life like this. Like, yeah, every woman's just out to get me. I'm going to sit here with my old book and watch an old movie. <laughs> if it's made in the past 50 years, I don't want any piece of it. <laughs> There's actually a lot of good media that's being created today. I don't know why you're cutting yourself off from that just because you're scared of women. And that's really what it comes down to. This dude is 100% scared of women. And really, uh, ain't nothing to be scared of, you know? They're small, and they're not very hairy, and, and they smell pretty nice. <laughs> Some of them will dunk on you emotionally, but, um, yeah, just pick the right one. That's what it's about. You can do this. I believe in you. How desperate will Russian women be to find a husband from the U.S.? R slash morbid questions? Maybe we should go over here. It seems like a place that I could dig on, even if this is my first exposure to it. <laughs> this is a really bad first exposure to it, to be fair. But uh, the concept seems okay, actually. Uh, I mean, even attractive young women will want a skinny, 20-something, middle-class American man. Since the Russian economy will be destroyed once visas are allowed again, will I be able to take advantage of attractive young Russian women and impregnate and marry her? <laughs> Alright, drop the coats on three. One, two, three, yeah! Uh, impregnate. Yeah, it's just like a scientific procedure. <laughs> Pussy for middle class life. I mean, Russian mail order brides have been a thing since way before this stupid war started, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could find a Russian woman to come to the U.S. and marry you if you were really desperate to do so. The thing is, that usually costs money, and obviously this guy's not willing to make that investment. So, are you really middle class, or are you lower middle class? Really, your income doesn't have anything to do with it. <laughs> it's the fact that you're a disgusting human being who wants to take advantage of a worldwide tragedy for your own advantage. So somebody might possibly pretend that they love you in the hopes of achieving a better life. <laughs> God, I feel so sorry for any Russian woman that gets caught in this trap. Or any woman at all for that matter. If you had to interact with this guy at the grocery store, I feel sorry for you. I feel dirty just reading it. <laughs> oh boy, Eric Adam Hovis is coming through to let us know how it's gonna be. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> this is the first line is already making me laugh. All right. For me to be excited about Hooters, there would need to be changes. <laughs> Ah, oh, God, this is, this is gold. <laughs> One, I'm not a big fan of the Barbie look. <laughs> Bottle blonde, big boobs, scorching tans. And two, I wouldn't be there to look at you, but to talk with you. <laughs> uh, how about you go there to eat hot wings and watch a, a sports ball game? How about that? I'm pretty sure that's what Hooters is for. The fact that it's served to you by women in short shorts, I mean, that's okay. But yes, Hooters has never struck me as like a very intellectual place. <laughs> a, a place to eat and chat with good conversationalists? <laughs> Sign me up! <laughs> God damn it. Uh, oh, Eric Adam Hovis. You are a treasure. Please keep posting. <laughs> I need to hear more. 
And so he did. So, it would be a place to have conversations and debates with smart slash pretty women while eating food. <laughs> uh, yes, shove my mouth full of greasy hot wings and let's drink a beer while we debate the merits, the pros and cons of a national healthcare system. <laughs> Uh, and how are we going to hire these women? These women are not going to work for minimum, all right? You think smart slash pretty women are, are going to be waiting around in a restaurant to just talk to you? <laughs> no, dude. They're out there chasing the dream because they're smart and or pretty. And or they, they married uh, Red X and <laughs> they laid in the bed right over there. Look at it. Smart, pretty, wonderful. All I had to do was pay her every cent that I ever earned. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> uh, there could be debate nights where wings are free or something. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, what the hell are you talking about? There could be activities rooms where people play pool or video games. I think I'm thinking of like a geisha place. <laughs> Uh, oh, the Weebery knows no bounds. See, he wants to be like, oh, I'm an intellectual. I want to talk with other intellectuals. But at the end of the day, he's like, yeah, let's just play video games and give me free wings. <laughs> God, dude, this is so good. It would also be important to have some specialized setup for the guys who just want to therapeutically vent their woes to women. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, what a job. We could get a robot to do that, right? Just program it to be like, mm hmm, ah, okay, that must be hard. <laughs> you could not pay me enough to do that freaking job, man. <laughs> I don't even want venting in my Discord server. No thank you. <laughs> Just like a specialized problem listener hostess. Uh, this way, guys don't just dump their problems onto each and every woman they encounter. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what happens in your experience, Eric Adam Hovis? <laughs> I don't know any guys that dump their problems onto each and every woman that they encounter. Then again, I've never been to this, uh, fictional <laughs> debate hooters. <laughs> so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe people really open up once they get a few wings and a couple beers in them. <laughs> ah, this is my favorite pose. It's not the one that the thumbnail is based on, but it is my favorite pose for sure. Uh, oh, and somehow, Hooters would need to be super cheap. <laughs> uh, yeah, we gotta use government subsidies for the debate Hooters <laughs> restaurants. Uh, uh, since us millennials are broke, <laughs> I think of current Hooters as some weird, exotic, unique luxury... <laughs> Luxury experience. <laughs> Are you serious, dude? Uh, like going to a magician restaurant? Oh, he's killing me. <laughs> he's killing me. Uh, oh, a magician restaurant. Oh. But then again, I think of Applebee's as a fancy high-class restaurant, too. <laughs> Applebee's and magician restaurants. Just the pinnacle of existence. Oh, you just get out there and show your whole ass on Twitter, bro. <laughs> this is so beautiful. I don't think of Hooters as anything near luxurious. It seems like really tacky and cheap, and they kind of do that on purpose. You know, I think one of their taglines is like, delightfully tacky yet refined or something like that. 
So they know their audience. They know exactly what they're doing. <laughs> it's definitely not a luxury experience, as you say, like a magician restaurant <laughs> or Applebee's. Uh, if you're so broke that you can't afford to go to Applebee's, dude, I mean, maybe consider getting a side hustle or, or a better job or something. I have been broke as hell many times in my life before, but never so broke that a plate of wings at Hooters was completely out of reach if I really, really wanted it. Ah, <laughs> uh, luxury experience. Bruh, wow. <laughs> So for me, as a millennial to be excited about Hooters, it would need to be a fundamentally different experience that, instead of relying on a superficial novelty, instead cultivates a meaningful human interactions in a world that is increasingly isolated by convenience and technology. <laughs> He wants so hard to be a big brain boy, doesn't he? <laughs> but really, unless the woman is being paid there to sit there and, and listen and try and agree with his stupid points, <laughs> nobody's gonna take this guy seriously. What the hell? He likes to think of himself as, you know, something more. I definitely rise above the crowd. But deep down, what you want is free wings and video games, isn't it? <laughs> Just admit that to me and yourself, and we can move forward from there. You think you're gonna have a debate with a hot chick over a plate of hot wings for <laughs> a low, low cost? <laughs> Not in this old life, friend. And obviously people just completely blew him the fuck out in the comments because <laughs> 86 replies and 8 likes. <laughs> That's a big yikes, friends. I'm tempted to go look up Eric Adam Hovis and see what he's up to today. I might do that after this video. <laughs> don't, don't touch, don't talk to him, only look, all right? <laughs> I don't need any harassment campaigns going on, but this post is freaking hilarious. How was this posted four years ago and I've never seen it? <laughs> Miracle. Oh, and hey, now we've got a, a neckbeard brain surgeon, totally a brain surgeon for reals, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Please believe me. So we're in a thread in r slash not how girls work, and this neckbeard brain surgeon wanders in to tell us that, indeed, that is exactly how girls work, or something. <laughs> now, hear me out. I'm a brain surgeon. <laughs> Already sus. <laughs> I have a master's from a top 25 university in human surgery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, human surgery, that's a thing, isn't it? <laughs> so take this into account for what I'm about to say. The biological of men. <laughs> uh, this brain surgeon can't even form a proper sentence. <laughs> Please do not let this man operate on you. <laughs> The biological of man is much more built for that of everyday life than the females. I studied the human brain to become the surgeon that I am today. And I don't hate females. <laughs> Stop calling them females. <laughs> Uh, I'm a great, caring man with family values. <laughs> but the female brain is wired to handle and process emotions more. This combined with estrogen means that females will go for what feels good at the time. <laughs> uh, that's just so hilarious to me because I am far more impulsive than my wife. I see something I like, I buy it. She's like, no, do I need it? You know, <laughs> we need to save money. She's the one that looks at the future. I'm the idiot <laughs> that likes what feels good at the time. So already, your theory has a few holes. If there was actually anything in it, it would be leaking out everywhere. <laughs> but luckily, this theory is completely empty. So poke all the holes you want. 
This is why the females will pick assholes based on all the wrong factors. <laughs> uh, please, elaborate. <laughs> Men have better brains. <laughs> <laughs> Wired for logical and determined situations. This comes from years of being the dominant gender. <laughs> the man's brain has far surpassed the capabilities of the female. <laughs> uh, from a brain surgeon, bro. Citation required. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, it, it's just a fact. <laughs> it is not totally science. I looked it up. <laughs> and I am a surgeon, so I've had so many intimate, lustful, sensual, and amazing intimate moments with females. <laughs> Uh, who you trying to prove that to, bro? <laughs> you, th you really think somebody would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? <laughs> but there are some brutal truths that need to be accepted. <laughs> and his username, Confirmed Surgeon. <laughs> He's got a verified <laughs> surgeon check mark. Uh, doctor and father of two boys. I love my wife. Duh, just want the truth to be said. <laughs> Negative 22 karma. <laughs> created zero days ago. So it's pretty obvious they created an account in order to reply shitty things to this post. And I think they truly believe that if they put confirmed surgeon as a username, that people would believe that they were a confirmed surgeon. Unfortunately, <laughs> not everybody on the internet is as idiotic as this tool. <laughs> there are some harsh biogenetic truths that this sub is not ready for. Oh yeah, here he comes, the confirmed surgeon. He's not gonna say anything else about it. <laughs> He's just gonna be like, you guys aren't even ready. Well, that is a great way to defend your position without even offering an actual argument, isn't it? <laughs> what a meatball. <laughs> yeah, my ancestors were taxi drivers back in the 1600s. Oh wait, they were using horses. That was back in the day where you could travel at one horsepower. What about the horse's genetics? They were driving. I don't want to be rude, but this is just a fact. I'm a registered brain surgeon doctor. <laughs> I just want to present multiple sides of a story. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's a registered brain surgeon doctor. His name is Confirmed Surgeon. He's in here now. <laughs> Uh, oh, God, what's going on with Confirmed Surgeon today? I have to look that up at the very least. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this account has been suspended. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Imagine that. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so funny, dude. <laughs> If you were a surgeon, you would know that A, we don't know everything about the human brain, and B, neither men nor women are built more for the everyday than the other. Also C, men and women can both be emotional or logical. It's society standards that make it so men don't show as much emotion as women. With that being said, what does the brain have to do with the fact that boobs don't produce milk until the person have a child? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this should be good. Actually, I am a surgeon, and I would show you proof if I wouldn't be doxxed. <laughs> Come on, dude. As everyone in my hospital can't afford to lose my work. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
Also, if you post any of my messages to slander me out of context on Nice Guys or any other place, I could legally sue for libel. Well, he's definitely a, a surgeon for reals, guys, but he ain't no lawyer. <laughs> I am using your own words to slander you with libel? No. No, no, no. <laughs> These are things that you actually said, are they not? Case dismissed. I mean, I ain't a lawyer either, but uh, this seems like a reach. <laughs> and OP actually replies to him and says, yeah, that's not how it works, Lamau. <laughs> Slander is if I said you did something without proof. Posting pics of what you said online is not slander. <laughs> there we go. Everybody's on the same page. I think the judge would throw that shit out. It would be a fun court case to watch. <laughs> the judge would look at the documentation and be like, uh, can somebody define for me what is a shit posting troll? <laughs> yeah, that would be a confirmed surgeon, your honor. <laughs> I know the law, you don't, and don't think about posting anything funny. <laughs> uh, uh, I could never hope to post anything as funny as you do, confirmed surgeon. <laughs> you are a master of your craft. <laughs> uh, and by that, I mean uh, shit posting, not brain surgery. <laughs> OP continues. Classic nice guy calling me a female. I wonder if your wife likes to be called that. He doesn't have a wife. <laughs> I guarantee you that. Either way, I can post screenshots of an exchange that we've had on a public forum anywhere I want. Especially if I'm not saying that you've done anything that you haven't. In order to sue me, you would need to know who I was and be able to prove that I slandered you. No good lawyer would take this case. <laughs> uh, well, that's a shame because, of course, I'm a brain surgeon and I can only afford the best lawyers. So, <laughs> uh, all of the best lawyers would be too smart to take this case. And then the dude jumps into the DMs? <laughs> oh, no! Uh, hey, that was really wrong and illegal of you to do, and I want you to take down that post. I'm being highly respectful here, but that is highly unethical. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't illegal of me to post that at all. You posted on a public forum. Nice try, though. <laughs> <laughs> he knows it's all gonna come falling down around him. Oh no, people are gonna find out that I'm a fake surgeon. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> you know how you uh, prevent things like that from happening? Don't pretend to be a fucking surgeon. <laughs> Especially when you can hardly construct a sentence. Listen, as someone who has studied the human brain, <laughs> I just wanted to say that there are differences between males and females. I was not being a nice guy. Society just treats good men like shit. It allows them to be dragged through the mud. Yet, females are allowed to misrepresent men all the time. <laughs> It's so amazing. He knows what a nice guy is, and he can't help but fall directly into the stereotype. How does that happen? <laughs> you'd think once you were aware of it, you'd be like, oh, what can I do to prevent looking like this in the future? <laughs> but no. <laughs> he knows and just continues on. You want to see differences between male and female brains? Maybe we should go into r slash nice girls tomorrow to match up with that nice guy content. You know what I'm saying? Darkly Studios, he loves drawing the thumbs for uh, the nice girl posts because he gets to draw the big baboobas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know there are differences, Lamau, but don't you need a doctorate to be a brain surgeon? Not just a master's in uh, human surgery. <laughs> Uh, oh, that is classic. Chef's kiss. Mwah. <laughs>
<laughs> I have both, but my hospital's in a smaller area for younger people, so I only use my masters, mostly. <laughs> But every day, I learn about the differences between the men and females. Why is it men and females? Shouldn't it be males and females if you're really trying to use, like, biological terms or whatever? <laughs> it's just so awkward. God. I don't know anything about how you use a, a master's or a doctorate. I mean, yeah, I barely graduated high school. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm pretty sure if you have both, then you would list both, right? And there's also the part about his hospital being in a smaller area for younger people. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean. <laughs> I don't trust this guy around any sort of people, but especially younger people. Kind of glad his account got suspended, if you want me to be quite honest. <laughs> OP says that is not how that works at all. Also, if you don't want to come off as a nice guy, maybe don't call women FEMALES. Women don't like being called female. It's degrading. Especially since you call males men. They are not a separate species. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the point I just made, essentially. Uh, sorry, I was reviewing my medical notes about operations on people from different areas. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, oh, this is the dumbest attempt at gaslighting everybody that I've ever seen. How did he think he was smart enough to get away with this? <laughs> uh, well, each area has different laws and regulations for their hospitals. Oh, good. By different areas, he didn't mean like different countries. I was worried there for a moment. <laughs> I get it. Beings with estrogen are what you are. <laughs> Beings with estrogen. He can't say women. He physically <laughs> just can't do it. Come on. I believe in you, confirmed surgeon. I mean, not about the surgery stuff, but... <laughs> You don't have to call women either females or beings with estrogen. <laughs> <laughs> I was just giving my general observations of the woman. <laughs> I had no reason to be posted online. <laughs> Except that you're a clown and you're hilarious. <laughs> And you actually thought you'd get away with it, convincing people like, oh yeah, male and female brains must be different, right? I'm pretty sure the brain itself is essentially the same thing. Maybe there are some chemicals flowing through it that uh, change things up a little bit. But yeah, I'm sure that even people with IQs as low as confirmed surgeon looked at confirmed surgeon posts and went, wait a minute. <laughs> That don't seem right to me. <laughs> I'm glad it didn't go on a racial bent. I was really expecting it to go there. Although that part might have just been a post that we missed because his account got suspended. Aww. Now we'll have no more golden posts from confirmed searching. <laughs> so while I'm happy, I'm also a little bit sad in a way. Oh well. Rip in peace. I'll see you when you make your new account, uh, user verified doctor. <laughs> and, uh, user verified doctor for reals after that. <laughs> God damn, dude. That's funny. I think this one is from Cora or something. So, uh, the question is, is five foot eight short for a guy? And this dude, he's got some strong feelings about that. <laughs> Yes, it is! It's two fucking inches below average! <laughs> uh, at this height, men will have difficulties getting a girlfriend. I'm five foot eight, and honestly, I'd rather be dead. <laughs> uh, you are so dramatic. What's, what's going on in your life? Tell me all about it. <laughs> Trust me, I, I would. I was supposed to be six foot five. <laughs> How do you know that? 
<laughs> they let me know how tall I was gonna be. But I just stopped fucking growing for no reason at 13. Oh, yeah, I was five foot eight at 13, and now I'm 20 and five foot eight point nine. <laughs> I think you can just round it up at that point, buddy. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> uh, I stopped growing it at 13 too, but you know, I was six foot one at that point. <laughs> so I don't really know what it's like to be a, a short person as it were, but I do guarantee that it is not as big a deal as you are making it currently. <laughs> That's not even an inch in different. I grew zero inches from 13 to 20 when average white males grow nine inches. <laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> I mean, the puberty came on pretty early for me, right? I've got like some thyroid troubles and whatnot. I was a giant ass kid. I was a giant ass teenager. And then everybody else kind of just caught up with me. But yeah, I wasn't six foot one at 13 years old and like, oh, I'm going to grow to be seven feet tall. God, I would hate being seven feet tall. <laughs> Can't even get in most doorways without ducking down. I don't know who told this guy some stuff like that, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they lied. <laughs> I just, I hate being this height. I'm just counting down the day until I die at this point. Jesus, dude. I simply can't accept the fact that I'm going to be inferior and less attractive to women due to my fucking height. I mean, seriously, women. I had no control over this shit. It just doesn't enter my brain. I thought all white men were going to be tall. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, I was an exception. I'm shorter than every non-Asian. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot to unpack here, and I'm not quite sure where to start, except to say it ain't as bad as you're making it out to be. Like, okay, other dudes got whatever, a half a foot in height on you. Is that really the reason that you're going to lay down and give up? That's pathetic, bro. I think if you truly concentrated on improving yourself, you know, developing a hobby, go to the gym... Don't put so much emphasis on how you think other people perceive you because honestly, that is not true. Like 99% of the time. Work on yourself, do things that you enjoy, and eventually the right one will come along. I mean, he is a young dude, only 20, so I am sorry that he's having a rough go of it, but it's early days yet. I'm sure that he will get it figured out and find a way to be happy with himself. Laying down, giving up, that's never the answer, dude, especially for something as inconsequential as your height. And I guarantee you, your height is inconsequential. For guys, it's mostly about, you know, your personality or what you can provide. Even being six foot something, it's not like women come flocking over to me or anything like that. <laughs> you still need to work on yourself, so do that, and I'm sure that you will be pleased with the results. I mean, yeah, the post started off funny, and, and I was really having a good laugh at the guy, but as soon as he said he wants to off himself, yeah, please don't do that. That's not worth it at all. <laughs> hey, look what's up on Amazon Books. You can go buy this right now. <laughs> Written by Liberty Adams. <laughs> Ladies first, MAGA Hat Romance Book One. <laughs> Uh, holy shit. I mean, I guess I gotta say, she knows her audience or something like that. Except, look at that cover art. Isn't that blonde lady dating the guy who's a little bit, uh, swarthy? Huh? <laughs> uh, maybe that's why it only got one star, right? <laughs> you guys wanna read the description? <laughs> I'm horrified, but... I can't stop myself. <laughs> when Patriot Mike rescues feminist Ricky from a post-Trump rally riot. <laughs> oh, God. Already. 
Jesus. <laughs> the clash of opposites sets off sparks between them, but the gentleman giant refuses to leave the side of the spunky half pint until he and his pickup truck <laughs> deliver her home safe and sound. <laughs> uh, is this parody? I'm pretty sure this has to be parody. Ricky attends the rally to scoop the racism of the Trump crowd in a blog post, but she's forced to spin a false narrative when her mistaken assumptions fail to materialize. Wow, this is so topical. Five years ago. <laughs> Were they just really late in getting the book out, or, or has this been here for a while and I just failed to notice? <laughs> When Ricky's lies get Mike doxxed and his construction work site becomes the target of anti-fascist thugs, his righteous anger forces her to reckon with the truth. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Works construction, drives a pickup, gets assaulted by Antifa thugs. <laughs> uh, I guess this is like a, a right-wing wet dream book. I've also seen some left-wing wet dream books. My god damn it. Uh, this is far too ridiculous. Ricky wants to fix the damage and regain Mike's trust, but that means facing the wrath of the liberal mobs. <laughs> uh, will Ricky find the courage to leave the left for a lifetime of old-fashioned true love? <laughs> Yeah, I believe in you, Ricky. You can turn from a spunky half-pint feminist <laughs> into an old-fashioned trad wife. <laughs> it's not just about telling a romance story. It's about subjugating the other side. This is like a fantasy on multiple levels. <laughs> it is so weird. It makes my skin crawl, dude. If it came from the other side, it would make my skin crawl just as hard. It did come from the subreddit uh, r slash self aware wolves. So maybe it is parody and they know exactly what they're doing, but <laughs> that doesn't really matter because yes, it makes my skin freaking crawl. Oh, <laughs> what a thing to unpack. I don't think I'm qualified. All right, so let's get one more post out of the way, and then I will uh, zoom, zoom out of here for today. I do appreciate you guys, again, joining me for uh, a subreddit that we don't visit very often. This is a post from r slash age gap. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, how do I get her back? Cross post from relationship advice, because someone said I might get better responses here. I, 36 male, was with my girlfriend, 27 female, for 12 years, but she left really suddenly, and I want her back. I'll try to explain. Wait a minute. <laughs> 12 years? She was 15? And you were 24? The men folk are coming for you. <laughs> Don't make a post about this. Run and hide in the woods. And we're all just gonna kind of forget about you and hope that you die out there, okay? I can't come and get you myself because, ugh, life and liberty and whatever. I ain't got time to go to jail. But if somebody did find you and, and hurt you severely, then uh, I probably wouldn't feel too bad about that. Anyways, yes, please explain your side of the story, you beardy fuck. <laughs> We met online. I didn't think someone could be mature enough to be with me at 15. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Uh, maybe you're just immature. Did you think about that? Uh, but she spent three months proving me wrong. Then I said, we give it a shot. It turned out that she was still really immature. <laughs> uh, well... Uh, no shit. <laughs> what were you thinking? <laughs> so I tried helping her grow. Are you a qualified therapist? 
I spent all of these years helping her. She was depressed, suicidal, and self-injuring when we met. But she got better with my help. Oh yeah, I can fix her. <laughs> Not a qualified therapist. You cannot fix her. Even a qualified therapist is going to have a hard time fixing her. Eventually, she moved in with me, and we've been living together for a decade. Oh, yes. Mom, Dad, come and meet my child bride. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Some of our issues are that I'm high libido, and she's low libido. I think that's because of the antidepressants she's on, but she refuses to quit them. You're trying to encourage a suicidal person to get off of their antidepressants so they will feel more inclined to bang you? Ooh, God damn it, dude! <sighs> I don't know if this is the one we should end on. This is really, really gonna piss me off in no time flat. How about this, OP? How about you try not being a fucking disgusting pig? And then maybe she'll want to bang you. Pity bang you every once in a while. What a disgusting human being. Even when I got her to taper off slowly, she was only off of for like three months before starting some new medication. Uh, I'm sad already. I'm sad. I'm angry. I, I, I want to see this guy hurt. Well, I really want what's best for her. I think if she wasn't online so much and listened more to the help and advice that I give her, she wouldn't need him. It's all in the mind, right? Oh, God, dude. God damn it. Yeah, just let me program your brain. The scuzzy fucking neckbeard pedophile and everything is gonna be okay. Don't take those meds, because then you won't want to bang me. It's just a chemical imbalance in the brain, right? Yeah, well, that chemical imbalance leads to some really dark thoughts sometimes. What a specimen, dude. What an absolute piece of trash, bro. <sighs> I don't know how many ways I could say that. Two more pages, and I'm sure I'm only going to get more frustrated. So, if she just changes her thinking from being so negative to being more positive, then she'll feel much better. <laughs> are, are you an idiot? Are you an idiot? I'm asking you. <laughs> I know the answer, but I'm still going to ask just to see how much self-awareness you have. Uh, instead, she's on the internet all the time, saying that that makes her feel better. But she spends a lot of time on news and politics and talking about problems with strangers. I don't think that I could possibly be helpful for her, and it's taking away from us doing things together. She used to watch me play games. <laughs> Uh, and watch movies and TV series with me. And now she only does it from behind her laptop. And I have to tell her several times to look up and see something I'm doing in a game. <laughs> uh, what the hell, dude? You really want people to watch you playing the game that bad? Okay. Uh, start a YouTube channel or something. Go stream on Twitch. Stop harassing your girlfriend who clearly is not interested in your stupid baby boy bullshit. And to be clear, I'm not talking about video games as a whole. You probably know by now that I freaking love video games. But, you know, calling my wife into the room and going, Hey, look, look, I'm about to beat this boss. Look, look, look. <laughs> that is baby boy bullshit. <laughs> Stop it. Do better. <laughs> no wonder she's not interested in you. Anyway, I've asked her to show me how hot she finds me, and to make an effort to wear pretty things, and do her hair, and, and shave. She reluctantly made an effort for a few days, and then nothing. So I get mad, and then we fight. It gets better, and three days later, she's back to the sweats. I feel unheard and misunderstood all the time because she just refuses to listen to me like I do to her. Do you dress up for her? Are you walking around the house in sweatpants too? Because really, a partner is a reflection of you. 
the kind of energy that you're giving off to her, that's what she's going to give back to you. It's just inevitable. So my thought is you're probably not putting anything into this relationship. And whether that has been voiced or not, your partner definitely feels it and has stopped giving a shit as well. As she should. Her point of view is that between being a student and working, she's always exhausted. She says I should do more at home because I'm always home, but I'm disabled and I'm home for a reason. Plus, cleaning and cooking is like a special interest for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doing us such a favor by letting her work all fucking day, put on her stupid makeup so you'll like her, and cleaning and cooking while you lay around in, in your sweats and play video games? <laughs> <laughs> Something is not equal about this relationship. Can you not see? <laughs> a blind person can see this. Holy hell. <laughs> I want to make her happy, so I figure that she should do what makes her happy. And since cleaning and cooking is an interest, that should make her happy. <laughs> uh, I don't think anybody has cleaning and cooking as an interest. Maybe cooking. Maybe. But if you're doing it every day for an ungrateful slob... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the magic is gonna get sucked out of that hobby really quick. <laughs> Jesus. When she moved in with me, before she had an income, she was really into the housework and asked me not to do much of it because I had an income. She said she wanted to pamper me, and it felt great. I really felt that she loved me. But then she quit doing it like she used to, and I tried to help. I, I deep cleaned the kitchen for her, and she smiles and says thanks, but she doesn't seem actually grateful. What do you want? <laughs> Throw you a fucking ticker tape parade? <laughs> she said thank you, okay? That's what you get. <laughs> I want to make her smile and, and hug and kiss me, but I can't do it. It hurts. <laughs> oh, God. You are such a weak human being. There's no wonder the only relationship that you are able to get into is by luring a literal child to your house. She's 15. She doesn't know any better. Now she's growing up and figuring it out, and time is ticking. This relationship is over. You will be in your mid-thirties and alone, and you will deserve it. The other day she came to me and told me that she's leaving. She left the same day, took our pets and everything. I don't think that's how you do things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Anybody can leave at any time. I don't care if you've been married for 20 years, got 10 kids. Anybody can leave. You wake up every day and you make a choice whether or not to stay with the person that you're with. And apparently, she woke up this day and chose violence. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just up and leave without warning. That's unfair. Now she's not talking to me at all. The only response I can get is about bills and mail. How do I get her back? How do I show her how good we can be together? Also, the age of consent is 15 in my country. She was almost 16 by the time we met online, and nearly 17 by the time we met IRL. Our age gap is 8.5 years. You don't deserve her back. This relationship is a trash fire. I'm so glad that she got up and out, and please just leave her alone, <laughs> is my response to this. You're like, oh, blah, blah, blah. She's ungrateful. No, you are the one that's being ungrateful here. It's like, I know you're going to work and school and all this stuff, but you can you come home and cook and clean and also put on makeup and, and look good for me? Like, dude, I'm so... No, I'm not going to do any of this. <laughs> I gotta go. I think anybody would at this point. You deserve to be alone. Once you work on yourself, get some things figured out, maybe you can go have a normal relationship with a person that is your age hopefully if that's what it takes for me to blow up you better believe i'm gonna do it <laughs>
My main girl, you step like what? And then act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> and top post for this month seems to be from 4chan. Is is using an exploit in a video game to crash servers illegal in America? Uh, is it uh, illegal to crash a video game server using nothing but in-game mechanics? I found an exploit in a Steam survival game that can crash the server for about 5 to 10 minutes. <laughs> it boots everyone off the server and it uses nothing but in-game mechanics to do it. Is it considered a DOS attack or since I'm just playing the game, would this hold up in court? Knock on door. Go away, I'm busy. Door opens. Anon's parents take a timid step into the room. Piss jugs fill most of the available floor space. <laughs> Anon, what what are you doing? Camera pans over to Anon, who sits cross-legged and hunched over a small, dusty monitor. Fat rolls flowing freely to reveal a completely naked figure, except for some ripped, stained Y-fronts. I just found a small indie game on Steam where I can exploit an in-game mechanic to crash the servers. <laughs> Shart. I'm basically a hacker, you know. A pale, chunky hands reaches into an industrial-sized bag of flaming hot Cheetos. Some, s <laughs> Some sounds akin to that of a hungry hippopotamus devouring a small mammal follow. The creature wipes the crumbs on its pallid body. Uh, okay, Anon, we'll leave you to it. The mother wipes away a single tear as she backs out of the room. The father gives a single glare, a mix of regret, shame, and stoic acceptance, before following suit and gently closing the door. A single balloon, reading, Happy 30th birthday, son, hovers for several days in the hallway, unnoticed until the helium leaks out of it and it slumps almost wearily to the floor. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. This guy hit with both barrels out of the gate. Oh my God. These green text posts, some of the best creative writing out there, I swear. We should go to r slash green text one of these days. Ah, them 4chan boys, they definitely know how it be. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I almost saw that balloon. I feel like I could identify the look on both of the faces of those disappointed parents. <laughs> Holy God. Dude was just asking a simple, albeit kind of stupid question. <laughs> and he just got hung out to dry. Anon needs a book deal. That is <laughs> so intense. Oh, wow. Your arse is, is so round. Uh, your tits are perfectly shaped. Uh, I bet your vag is so tight. Why don't girls like my compliments? <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it wrong, <laughs> you clown shoe. Holy God. I don't think I've ever seen anybody in real life come on this strong it's mostly on the internet where dudes uh get the nuts up <laughs> to say things like this and if it ain't gonna work in real life then it certainly ain't gonna work on the internet <laughs> it, it, it has to pass the test first just say it in your head before it comes out of your mouth <laughs> think how somebody would actually react to hearing this and if the response is negative maybe just uh just don't say it <laughs> That's my handy hint for you. Neckbeards. When Japan has no subtitles and random women on the street don't want to have sex with them, defeated male leaves. <laughs> That's too bad. He's probably going to go back to America. The genesis of all neckbeardery, at least as far as I can tell. And I ain't proud of that title. We don't really want him either, but <laughs> unfortunately, he does have to exist somewhere. For some reason. <laughs> I can't really identify the logic behind that. Aside from the fact that we're not allowed to put people to death for social ineptitude. Yet. <laughs> but we're working on the legislation. Don't you worry. <laughs>
Movie trivia fun fact. Did you know, in order to play the role of an insane and mentally depressed person in the movie Joker, Joaquin Phoenix watched nothing but anime and pissed in plastic jugs for 16 months. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the funniest things have a thread of truth to them. <laughs> God damn, dude. <laughs> that cuts me to the quick. I'm probably going to end up saving this picture and sharing it around <laughs> as fact because it is just so believable. <laughs> Holy God. All of this also poses kind of like a chicken in the egg type scenario. Like what came first, the depression or the anime? <laughs> Are depressed people just attracted to anime or does anime make people depressed? I don't consume that much anime, so I don't really have the answer, but I hope that the comments can enlighten me <laughs> on this. If you got some theories, let me hear them. <laughs> all in all, Joker was like a pretty decent movie, but... As per usual, the fans ruin it. Like I said, <laughs> like things. Please, like a lot of things, but don't become a fan of something. <laughs> that can only really lead to the de-evolution of that thing that you like so much. Obsessiveness is, uh, not good. When you insult a weeb's favorite anime character, and they say that the anime character can kill you without even trying. Calm down, son. It's just a drawing. <laughs> oh, man. That SpongeBob reference. Why do I see it everywhere related to neckbeards, man? I guess because illustrations are like the be-all, end-all. <laughs> they can be your hero. They could be your, your waifu. They could be your best friend in a time of need. Except, you know, they're two-dimensional and probably don't give a single crap. They, <laughs> they're physically incapable of giving a single crap because they don't exist. But don't say that to a weeb. <laughs> or you have to hear all about how they can kill you without even trying. I'll talk shit about Goku right now. <laughs> I ain't scared. Come at me, bro. Oh, this is a classic. <laughs> In this moment, I am euphoric. Not because of any phony God's blessing, but because I am enlightened by my intelligence. <laughs> I often call neckbeards that think they're big brain euphoric, and people are like, hey, Red X, you're using that word wrong. And I'm like, yeah, I know what the word means. <laughs> but I just use it in a slant-wise way to connect to this meme. Because for me, this was, this was the start of it all. <laughs> this was probably the first neckbeard meme that I ever saw. And it has stuck with me for such a long time. And it's good enough that it's still being reposted. <laughs> I should look up A.A. A. Lewis and see what he's doing online these days. <laughs> he probably just nuked himself, deleted every social media, tried to hide under a rock. But I know you're out there. And if you're watching this... Well, I hope that you're uh, doing better. <laughs> I don't wish evil things on the neckbeards, okay? Redemption is out there. And it starts with not crapping on people because of what they do or don't believe. <laughs> uh, it's so simple. While you were gawking at my lady, I studied the rook. <laughs> Unlike you filthy heathens, I'm not here simply just to gawk at her body. However, it is magnificent, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that's good cringe. I'm simply here to enjoy a chess tutorial. <laughs> That C H E S S, not S T. <laughs> Which really, like, how could you gawk at her body? She's wearing about the most conservative thing that you could possibly wear. On top of that, I don't know what this channel is or anything, but I doubt she's the one sitting there sorting through the comments. And if she is, then you probably just got yourself a shadow ban for being a creep. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's going to be commenting for the next two months like, Why doesn't she answer? <laughs> <laughs> she can't even see your stuff anymore. She decided she had enough. Shadow banning is just so cool. <laughs> Sometimes I wish there was a feature that would let me dig through comments that have been shadow banned. <laughs> <laughs> just to see people getting increasingly frustrated with no response. Ah, just beautiful. Mwah. Regular old bands that alert the user. Psh, smooth brain stuff, dude. <laughs> Give me that shadow band any day of the week. <laughs> oh boy, neckbeard alignment chart. <laughs> what a motley crew we have here, gentlemen. We've got, of course, the best of all. Lawful good. <laughs> it's Hank Hill with a fedora. <laughs> they shoot that fedora, right? I don't think this was ever showed in King of the Hill. But he knows he looks like a jackass. He got neutral good. What? Can't a man wear his fancy hat and play Wii U without a web camera taking his photo? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens with webcams. They just randomly take my photo. And then I look at them with my eyebrow raised. <laughs> totally posing for the photo. Oh, God. It's like r slash quit your BS written all over it. <laughs> Chaotic good. Oh, we covered this boy before. Tell your asshole boyfriend he needs to watch his back. <laughs> if you're going to fight me, bro, you better eat. <laughs> you get some sustenance first. Lawful neutral World War I helmet kid. <laughs> this is how you start getting bullied. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> True neutral tips fedora guy. I, I can agree with that. <laughs> Chaotic neutral George R. R. Martin with an icicle spear. <laughs> he does seem fairly chaotic. What's going on in your life that you can't finish a book series that you're getting paid millions to sit down and finish? <laughs> Maybe then the cash machine stops flowing. So I, I kind of get where you're coming from, but it don't make it okay. It's kind of chaotic evil. We got lawful evil telling the little girl that feminism sucks. <laughs> Just the look of this dude with his two liter. Ninja Turtles t-shirt, male pattern baldness, <laughs> oh god, but he does have a following on YouTube, 6,000 subs, I mean, you can't be mad at that, I mean, I can be mad at that, <laughs> it's not hard to find 6,000 people who are like-minded on the internet, and then you create your own little echo chamber, where you can pick on kids, only the biggest brain content, <laughs> neutral evil, Kim Jong-un? Now this boy is a neckbeard if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Chubby, self-entitled, thinks he can do no wrong, and look at the way he dresses. He's wearing the fedora. Does he know about neckbeards? I bet he does get on the internet. I bet he knows a lot more than we give him credit for. And of course we've got our chaotic evil. Sorry about dirty face. I had barbecue chicken wings. <laughs> I take it back. That is far more evil than George R. R. Martin. <laughs> Maybe you have got it laid out correctly. These are some quality memes, honestly. These are all relatively fresh. You did a good job with this, OP. And knowing how much I love charts and science and Dungeons and Dragons alignments, <laughs> which is the complete opposite of science, I definitely do enjoy stuff like this. Teenage Islamist poster girl who fled to Austria to join ISIS was used as a sex slave for new fighters before she was beaten to death as she tried to escape former prisoner. Jesus, that is heavy. This kind of came out of left field. The rest of the video is kind of all laughy haha. -ha. And then there's this freaking weirdo in the comments who like doesn't seem to get the point at all. I, I don't get it. You have this young, beautiful girl as your sex slave, and you can do any sexual thing you want with her. Of all things, why hurt her? I can imagine tying her to the bed and kissing every inch of her body right now. 
and making her completely submissive to me and caressing her body and, and telling her how beautiful she is. <laughs> and somebody actually liked this. I hope it was the guy that liked his own post. But honestly, this is astonishing. I don't think I've seen anyone in recent history miss the point so hard. <laughs> That's really what you want, bro? Okay, I guess go sign up for ISIS. <laughs> like, <laughs> imagine seeing a post on the internet about a teenage girl who was murdered, and your first thought is like, oh, I would have treated her way better. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is a horrible and tragic situation. Can you stop thinking with your dick for one second? <laughs> He can't. That's why he's in the situation that he's in. He gets around like any woman in real life and he's like, oh, uh, oh, God. <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus. Honestly, somebody should probably file this this with the police. Just make sure we got a paper trail in case this guy does anything, which <laughs> in my estimation from the three, four sentences that I've known him, I, I think it's just a matter of time. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrifying. There's people like this out there. We certainly live in a society, my dudes. <laughs> Ooh, Joker profile pic and everything. <laughs> Fun science facts. Nurses take the baby away from the mother for the first 12 to 24 hours because the female's natural instinct is to kill the baby. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how human society survived for so long. <laughs> All these babies were dying until we had nurses to take them away from the mothers. <laughs> what? <laughs> they do this so they can avoid taking responsibility and they can go back to Chad and Tyrone. It's called post-mortem distress birthing. <laughs> oh god i actually looked up post-mortem distress birthing <laughs> just so i could educate myself a little bit on the topic you know use the magic of editing to make myself seem a little bit smarter <laughs> it's basically when the body vacates an already dead fetus like from a miscarriage or from a late-term abortion it has nothing to do with the mother's choice to kill the child. <laughs> uh, like I said, humanity would not have survived. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm sitting here trying to explain it to this guy. He's got his opinion, and in my opinion, let him shout it from the rooftops, you know? That way I know who to stay the hell away from. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, most restaurant TV menus are Bluetooth, and the passcode is either 1235678 or 0000. And then you, you've decided to put hentai on the McDonald's dollar menu. <laughs> uh, it is kind of funny in its way, and any restaurant that is actually susceptible to this kind of deserves what they get, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're going to leave it on factory settings and just expect nobody to mess with it. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't do something this distracting, this obvious. I would create a photo of the menu with just like, you know, some advertising. Maybe for my YouTube channel on it. <laughs> Get a bunch of eyes on it. That, now that's thinking big brain, all right? That's thinking with portals. And then you, you got thousands of people going through McDonald's every day, seeing your advertisement right there. Chicken tenders, sponsored by Red X. <laughs> Check us out on YouTube. They got Wi-Fi in the McDonald's. They can hop on right there and subscribe. <laughs> if that's what it takes for me to blow up, you better believe I'm going to do it. <laughs> I've just hatched my master plan, honestly. <laughs> Thanks to this post. I'm going to McDonald's. I guess we'll wrap up our adventures today with some just neck bird things. <laughs> if men flirted like birds, 
I've built this beautiful house for you. I'll perform the sensual dance, which I've practiced for a whole year just to impress you. Hey, I, I collected some pretty rocks and other stuff I heard you might like. And if birds flirted like men, I showed you my dick! Please respond! <laughs> <laughs> It's even funnier to me because birds don't even wear clothes. They, they also don't have dicks. It's called a cloaca. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I could get pretty behind the uh, the rocks and, and the sensual dance, but housing rights are really different for humans than they are for birds, you know? <laughs> a bird can just kick out a, a ladybird. <laughs> just be like, okay. We're not having fun together anymore. You gotta go. But if a, a, a man human and a lady human get divorced, then they gotta go into a, a fight over the house and the kids and all this other stuff. Oh, God. It's a little too much effort for a little too much headache. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to see that sensual dance, let me know. <laughs> it's gonna be on OnlyFans once, uh, once we decide that that's uh, <laughs> something that we should do. Which will probably be never. What? I'm gonna That's show him. Box. I'm gonna show my sensual dance on OnlyFans. You don't want me to make money from OnlyFans with my sensual dance? Crazy. <laughs> it's super sensual. It's worth paying for. My wife thinks it's crazy, so so it's not the time yet. But <laughs> keep an eye out. I'll announce it uh, one day, maybe. <laughs> I just recently started coming to this location for the cute goth girl who works here. <laughs> Turns out she's like a total bitch. <laughs> Ignored me for an hour, even though I was standing by the register the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> the obliviousness of beards on full display. She blew off every attempt to try and get to know about her and to possibly ask if she'd like to be taken out on a date. I ended up having to buy something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good cringe. God, it washes over me. <laughs> I didn't even want to get her to even have a conversation with me. And then I felt like I was just being rushed out the door. She needs to work on being more attentive to people who are just trying to be nice to her and not giving all her attention to people buying something right then and there. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> She's working a cash register, bro. She's doing her job. Leave that girl alone. <laughs> what is wrong with you? This poor, this poor girl trapped in one location, trying to do her job while a neckbeard just stands there and lurks for over an hour and then he finally goes and buys something and of course she's just like get the fuck away from me <laughs> who wouldn't be like oh my god this is so delusional this is so clueless and i love uh thanks for your vote <laughs> somebody voted it funny can we give it negative cool points because this is about the most uncool thing that i've ever read <laughs> god it's so bad ah <sighs> what a start why do I love this? Is Japanese your first language? Yes, ma'am. No, it's not. Your pronunciation is so American. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you to tell her what her own first language is? I'm... I know, because I watch anime. <laughs> <laughs> How did that get almost 3,000 likes, bro? <laughs> are you serious right now? <laughs> that is pure comedy. Ugh. Somebody please tell me this is a parody account or something. I just... <laughs> I can't go look it up because the usernames are deleted, but... Oh my god. <laughs> just completely irredeemable. Whether it's parody or not. Like, what are you doing out here? Hey, Weeb. Why do you always wear that mask? Lolly fan. But underneath? Pedophile. All right, well, let's just keep this on. <laughs> she's not a little girl. She's a 140-year-old dragon. Yeah, who, who looks like a little girl. <laughs> it's not okay. Kids cannot consent 
if you come at me with some stuff like this in real life, <laughs> I'm liable to punch you in the mouth. But the truth is nobody ever comes at me with some stuff like this in real life because they prefer the safety of the internet to admit to their degeneracy, which I'm okay with like all kinds of degeneracy. You know what I mean? No kink shame, but no kink same. That type of thing. But man, when it comes to kids, animals, I just, I can't sign off on that, man. You're gonna get hurt because of it, and uh, I will only give a small nod of approval. <laughs> Ooh, a neckbeard starter pack. We shall judge the accuracy. We've got the fedora. We've got females. <laughs> Cheeto fingers. Misandry. Must be within five IQ points, ideally lower. Morally complex. The Joker is so complex. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we got that neck beard. No showering. To be fair, you need a high IQ to understand Rick and Morty. I would say this is an okay, like, starter starter pack. <laughs> we'll work on the delusions of grandeur and the uh, extreme entitlement. <laughs> but if you're looking to become a neck beard, no, don't, don't ever do that. <laughs> Nobody wants to be this, okay? God. Wait. Are you that 500 pound Anon who complains about women's appearances all day from his parents' basement? Sure, I'd love to be part of your sex slave harem. <laughs> and this is what neckbeards actually think. <laughs> all you gotta do is spend 30 to 50 dollars on a body pillow of this character, and congratulations, she is now part of your pillow harem. <laughs> Congratulations! You won the prize! When my brother turned 18, he threw out his favorite anime body pillow that he was super attached to. And when I asked him why, he said, Don't you know? She's 16. This isn't legal anymore. <laughs> Some of you freaks on here could learn a thing or two from him. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, I mean, I guess, you know, props. <laughs> you gotta draw a line in the sand somewhere, and, you know... <laughs> why not with a 16-year-old anime body pillow? <laughs> I mean, ideally, there would be no body pillow in the first place, but... <laughs> you gotta take your wins where you can get them, I guess. <laughs> He's a goddamn hero. Neckbeard TikToks. Uh-oh. <laughs> me oh yeah he's got the fedora you look super tough bro look at that fat fist <laughs> you punch you with that fat fist you wouldn't even feel it you'd be like huh <laughs> somebody tap me on the shoulder he actually looks like halfway decent as the fuck boy except for the neck beard and then the girlfriend has like <laughs> zebra hair <laughs> <laughs> just puts a pillowcase on his head. He's like, yeah, this, that looks like my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, and then the stain on his t-shirt. What is that, dude? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> He's just trying so hard to look tough. Oh, God, that's adorable. <laughs> he probably does have a lot of rage inside of him, but it's all impotent. <laughs> He's never going to act on it outside of TikTok. <laughs> but it's good to dream, bro. <laughs> if the only tough guy you can achieve is internet tough guy, then you stick with it. <laughs> good job. I studied the blade. I want to marry an anime character. Everyone is jealous of my intelligence. <laughs> Why does nobody think I'm cool? <laughs> <laughs> uh, neckbeards are the clowns of the internet, man. I just absolutely can't get enough. <laughs> um, without a doubt, <laughs> I love to laugh at him more than basically anything. But I've also seen some situations where things go extremely south uh, with a neckbeard as far as they're involved. You know, they can be silly to laugh at and stuff, but they are dangerous at the end of the day. So we would do well to keep that in mind. Of course, that doesn't make a good meme. <laughs> we just need a laugh, right? <laughs> Mostly. When the nice guy gets tired of being mistreated, that's what society should be afraid. 
because that is when he'll make an edgy statement with a Joker picture and then get back to doing nothing. <laughs> they had me in the first half, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not really sure that I understand the obsession with the Joker. There's like a ton of cooler Batman villains out there, like Mr. Freeze. <laughs> He's cool in the literalist sense, but honestly, neckbeards are close to the penguin, I would think. He's also cool, but... <laughs> they're short, they fat, they greasy, they live with a bunch of arctic animals. <laughs> we need a new movie. We need a new movie with the penguin, just as an experiment to see if they self-identify. <laughs> but I know they won't. Can a poor guy marry a rich lady? Don't you want to be engaged to me? Oh, nice to meet you. A poor, introverted nerd is married to a rich, beautiful lady? What? <laughs> I wonder who they're pandering to. It seems to have worked. 343,000 views in six months? Yeah, that's, that's pretty alright. <laughs> pandering works. I'm halfway tempted to go digging through the comment section. <laughs> I know it's going to be a dumpster fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm quite scared to crawl into it. I don't want any of it to rub off on me, the trash or the fire. <laughs> uh, did they draw this manga? Like, it's pretty cool. I like the art style and stuff, but this story in particular, man, <laughs> I can't sign off on that. The guy in the thumbnail don't even have a neck beard. <laughs> I guess they just didn't want to cut too close to reality. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a weeb. I'm an otaku. Imagine role playing as that guy. Lamau cringe. What? Role play? No, his personality is literally like mine. <laughs> <laughs> the level of delusion is off the charts, dude. I want to be sad, but also like, bro, I can't sympathize with somebody that needs a reality check that badly. <laughs> I've identified with plenty of characters in shows and shit, but none of them are literally exactly like my personality because <laughs> they're written. They're not real people. Hey, cutie. Attempts to hide my tail and wings. And massive giant horse wolf cock. <laughs> oh, we're out of the gates with a bang. <laughs> horse wolf cock. <laughs> I don't know if I can get past that sentence. <laughs> what are you talking about? So, so how, how was your day? Sweats. <laughs> so... So I was wondering when you were going to get out of school for Christmas, haha, <laughs> so we could gulp, hang out, <laughs> you, you don't gotta, it's okay, I'll just uh, stay lonely forever, ha, <laughs> I shine cutely as I purr. Oh god, <laughs> this is a sign that we need to take a trip into creepy asterisks, bro, that is making me cringe so hard. <laughs> God. Hey, um, I know this is sudden, but grabs your hand and kisses it. Wanna, wanna be my girlfriend? Smiles. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Are we just gonna skip over the fact that he has a tail and wings and a giant horse wolf cock? <laughs> I, I'm so lost, dude. Where did this take place? Where did you meet a person like this? <laughs> that is terrifying. I'm going to be staying far away from wherever the hell this is. <laughs> oh, he's, he said he'll just stay lonely forever. I think that is extremely accurate. The most accurate thing that he said. You probably should have stopped within like the first three letters. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're typing, all this shit, before you send it, <laughs> just read it to yourself and be like, wow, this is pretty weird. Just say, hey, 
maybe even hey cutie even though that might be overstepping some bounds but this <laughs> hiding a tail and wings and massive horse wolf penis <laughs> i can't get over it god that's hilarious ah he could have even stopped after like you know so we could hang out but instead he goes into this like self-aggrandizement oh it's okay i'll just stay lonely forever you don't gotta go well, if there was any chance in hell that she was thinking of going after giant <laughs> horse wolf, <laughs> she ain't considering it no more. <laughs> That's so pathetic, man. Oh, God. <laughs> that is just some good cringe. Oh, boy. I don't know if we're going to beat that one today. <laughs> and we'll close it out with the one and only way to get a neckbeard to take a shower. <laughs> Doritos body wash with shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> we had to make sure that it wasn't edible because otherwise they will just sit there and squirt this Dorito paste into their mouth. <laughs> but since it's not edible, you can walk around smelling like Cool Ranch, which obviously is the superior choice. Who wants to walk around smelling like fucking nacho cheese or salsa verde? Get out of here. <laughs> I ain't playing with that. A cool ranch, man. I could rock that. It's almost like Old Spice, but <laughs> beardier. <laughs> it's a new adjective. But anyways, friends, that's going to be about it for me, I do think. <laughs> it was a new subreddit. We probably got some tweaks and things to make to, to get it all better and such, but I had fun with it overall. I really do like this subreddit. Riffing on a story is a lot easier than riffing on a meme. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll we'll get into the swing of things. I do hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy the video, maybe share it around because this is the first r slash just neckbeard things that I've ever done. And I would really like to get some feedback on it. What can be done better, stuff like that. Which posts you enjoyed the most, etc, etc. I also hope you check out the links in the description. We got the Amazon affiliate link to my microphone. We got Wifey's channel, Mr. and Mrs. Red X. She's taking a bit of a break right now because she's got uh, some tooth pain going on and we can't get that fixed for about a week. So that's sad, but she will be back soon enough. Uh, enjoy some previously done content in the meantime. We've got my personal subreddit, r slash Red X Reads, which I am relying on quite heavily for beard stories at this point. We've also got the social medias, the Twitter, and the Discord, and the Facebook. Oh, and how could I almost forget my gorgeous, wonderful, beautiful, generous patrons? You're seeing some names on the screen right now, and I would like to thank them all. But especially, Zero MMX, Lady Nix, Robert Waits, Pope Squid, Rebecca H, Cider Drinker, Tato Ferret, The Last Shinobi, Mark211, Michael Undead, Aaron W, Mitch, John Hero, Candy Sora, DigiNZ, Fire Drake, Little Lone Wolf, Lone Island, Shara, Marvy DeMoth, Miss Monday, Silent Revolver, JM Coon, Leon Embers, TSM Kirby, Redwind, and Synaptic Boomstick. Definitely appreciate you guys for supporting. Luckily, our video yesterday didn't get demonetized, despite the rather high number of naughty words that I said. But you never really do know with YouTube. <laughs> Things get a little bit crazy out here sometimes, so I definitely appreciate being able to lean back on my patrons and uh, just, you know, having a show of support for what I'm doing over here. It is, it is huge to me. Obviously, if you can support monetarily, that is massive. Thank you so much in advance. But if you can't right now, don't sweat it too hard, guys. I just appreciate you coming on through, hanging out with me, and I hope that you come on back and hang out with me again tomorrow. Because really the views is, is how my beard stays buttered. In order to come on back, you'll need to keep yourself safe out there. Wash your hands all the time, super important. But also don't forget to take some time out and do something that you personally enjoy today. Always remember friends, you are loved, you are worthy, and you definitely, definitely deserve it. I will see you in the next one. And until then, bye-bye.